Oh man, what a day. How is it going? Good to see you guys. This music's so good. Good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome in. Um, bear it with me. My voice is like slowly like separating itself from me. I don't know why. I'm partially sick still. But doesn't it isn't gonna stop us. It isn't gonna stop us from enjoying more of this pack. And I'm surprisingly enjoying the streaming of this pack. Like for YouTube, it would drive me nuts. For streaming, it's so much different. I wish I could I wish I could honestly share how much different it does feel to stream versus recording YouTube videos for some packs. It really is a, a night and day difference. But good morning and welcome in. Nurse Ratchet, good to see you. Katana, good to see you. Welcome back. Epic Games, welcome back. Jay, welcome back. Ah, just to name a few that I see right away. Um, Janitor, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Hailstorm, how's it going? Scrolling up through chat. Pushy, welcome. Yes, yesterday was a long stream. Today is probably going to be a longer stream as well. Hopefully we can get through it all. You sound better than yesterday. Oh, I wish that's I wish I felt better. I also made the mistake last night of not leaving my heater on in my office. That was a mistake. It was 45 degrees uh, Fahrenheit when I uh, walked into my office this morning. Whoops. That's that's what I get for being in a shed, right? You make a mistake like that. It's more painful. Way more painful. All right. I've got to deposit some items here. I kind of want to do something, chat. And I don't know if... I know this isn't going straight towards the automation right away, which I'm sure a lot of people want to see. But I miss... I miss a certain someone. I miss my companion in this pack. In 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 all the mod packs, right? Ever since Quark... Like, since Quark hasn't been updated as of currently for the 112... Or 120, I mean. Um, I've been missing certain someone. Ever since Vault Hunters. That's right. Coggers. We need Coggers back. We need Coggers back. And we should be able to find a Coggers in this pack. Because Coggers does exist. We just need to find a Coggers. And that's what we're going to do today. It shouldn't be too difficult. And we may be able to find one very quick. Um, why do we have an Enderman in here? I don't know, but it's a it's a goner now. Get wrecked. I think we picked this guy up at the very beginning, and we were like, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna actually make this easier to take this guy out." There we go. Perfect. Ender pearls. That's what I want. But yes, we are going to pick up Coggers, bring him home, and tame Coggers, or we can tame him there. And we are going to get Coggers back up and spinning again. Yes, 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 yes. Goodness. Um, by the way, somebody mentioned something earlier. I wonder who's going to complete the pack first, Sparkle, Zine, and Pete, or Chosen. It's not a race. Um, I'm playing this because they sort of inspired me to jump into this pack. Because um, I had played a little bit of this pack before. Um, we had it on our supporter server, and I played it up till the Redstone. And I sort of stopped because I, I didn't have the time to play this... Like, if I'm not streaming and stuff, I have very little time outside of recording videos and streaming to play games. And I was taking my time to play that. And when I got to that point, I was like, this is going to take a really long time. And I just won't have the ability to do that. Happens a lot with me with video games um, that I play on my own time. And, um, yeah, whenever I was watching them, I was like, okay, I might, I might give this a shot on stream. And I'll see what this is going to be like. Will this be uploaded to YouTube? It's on the second channel. Exclamation point YouTube will get you the uh all the links for the like the second channel and stuff. Um, but yeah, they definitely inspired me. Um I was like, you know what? This is this is something I kind of want to give a shot. I want to give it a shot. You know, if there I know three of them are doing it, which that sounds like a lot of fun. Like I I would that would be total chaos trying to design factories. Which I think they're sort of splitting things up because I've caught some of their streams. I don't get to watch streams very much, very often. I got. But yeah, it, it is interesting. But that's definitely not my goal is to like complete this pack before them. And from what I've heard, it it's going to get insane like at some point. So 
It may be so infuriating that I might not want to complete it. I don't know. I don't know yet. But till then, I'll enjoy the heck out of it, you know? That's also glad to know I'm not alone with being sick right now. Yes. For some reason, me being sick just makes my voice way lower. Just way lower, Chad. This is insane. I could just talk like this all day long. Hey, Chad. Today we're playing some Minecraft. <laughs> we're going to go hunt for coggers. Ah, yes, coggers. Hey, guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect. <laughs> Ford commercial. <laughs> what is the... Uh, let's see. I've got to see this. <laughs> That's how it feels to drive a Ford F-250. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yes, we're going to be sick here, too. It's weird. The first of the year, a lot of people are sick. Uh, I blame my kids. I honestly, I blame my kids for being sick. Okay, um, let's see. I got that done. Let's go ahead and put this in here. We also need to get a smelter. Like, my ultimate goal for today. Let's go ahead and round that off for, for the day. Um, let's also put it on our clipboard. Because believe it or not, we've done this. Automate electron tubes. Get into Tinkers. We've got it all. We've, we've completed this. So, what we need to do today... Coggers. Actually... Coggers. All right. We're going to get Coggers back. Next. Um, get. Um, crushing. And. Brushing. And smelting. Automated. Um, automate. Items. That's another task. What am I doing? Hey, there's our list on our clipboard. Can, are we able to title clipboards? Oh, that'd be cool if we had like a title button at the top. I guess you'd rename clipboards, right? Schools are a massive Petri dish. Oh yeah, but the thing is, is like, I think I got sick just being around the kids more right i was just around the kids more because they were home all day and they were probably already sick like my they, they yeah i swear my kids are like always sick it just always seems like they get sick but they're better off than i was as a kid because at least like none of them have like this the asthma issues i had as a kid <laughs> oh god i was cursed with the dreaded asthma God, what a painful thing that was as a kid. I get, I got shots every week. I was getting shots every week. My kids complain about getting their blood drawn like maybe every six months. I was getting a shot every week. They don't even understand. You know, I got scars on my arm like I'm a freaking drug user from all of the times I had to go and get a shot as a kid. It's crazy. It is crazy. All right. Let's go hunt for coggers. That's the first thing I want to do. Sounds rough. I mean, honestly, I'm glad I grew out of it. That's the like big thing. So that is something I'm thankful for. Let's go here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey. Double down. 19. Thank you for the 19 down. months. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Double down. Appreciate that. You pro so I was pretty sick also to about five years, you know, somewhat normally. And yeah, I was in, I, I spent, uh, let's see my first grade. It was when I was in first grade. Cause that's the grade I got held back in because I was in St. Jude's for like seven to eight months. So like my entire, like first grade year, I wasn't in school. Um, so I, I struggled a lot with reading. All right, let's go ahead. 
with what I needed to do. St. Jude's an amazing place, by the way. Amazing place. We're going to go after Coggers. Let's get our inventory sort of organized. We... Bro. We got problems, man. You're not Coggers. What's going on? Kotona 14. Oh my god. Just gave out 10 subs. <laughs> Kotona. That's how, that, that's how it pronounces it. Katana, thank you. Oh no. Oh, it missed. It's going to get him on the way back though. <clears throat> how is it going? Thank you, by the way. The 10 gift subs. Appreciate that. What's, what's up with... Why do you look like Kibbits? You straight up look like Kibbits. The guy that... The satisfactory... Guy. That's what his uh, logo looks like. Oh, God. <laughs> no Mega Torch, sir? Uh, you know what? Let's... We need to do that, too. I think we can make one now. We do need one around the base. Again, Kazana, thank you for the 10 gift subs. I do appreciate that, as always. He's a hipster? Wait, what? The hipster looks, uh, because I've heard all hipsters look the same. I... I do they? What's... What is he... What... I feel like calling someone a hipster is, like, now out of date. Like, it's not the same. <laughs> Soup the spaghetti. <laughs> Welcome. Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like like it's interesting. So what are they now? I don't know. I feel like that was like from ten years ago. I, I honestly, I would call somebody a hipster too. I I I think hipster is kind of cool though, dude. If I could grow a beard and I could wear it like what we all defined as being hipster, I think a, I think a dude with a hipster mustache and beard it looks pretty darn good. In my opinion, if only I could do it, but I can't. I have a, my beard doesn't work that way. Sucks. Like a nice, like perfect beard that just like perfect, beautiful, beautiful. If only, um, all right. So mega torch, can we make it mega torch? Yeah, we can make it, um, torches. Why do we have random torches in here? Two of those, two diamonds, and then two logs. Let's get a mega torch in here. No. No, that's my hidey hole. Yes, Chad, I do have a hidey hole. I can't put it there. I gotta... Is that the center? This is the center. Perfect. Now we have a beautiful mob-free zone. Kind of. Kind of mob free. Any idea for a palette for aesthetically pleasing? Um, but would still be a wasteland theme? I feel like for like a wasteland. Go to Pinterest. All right, crack. Go to Pinterest and give it a good Google search. Like do like Minecraft wasteland guarantee you'll be so inspired that is what i do i love pinterest for just getting inspiration i will recommend it every time to people hayes mountain if this if 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 hayes mountain isn't purple i would be blown away It's full of blazes. 
All right, we need a we need a mountain biome, Rocky Mountain, or the Scarlet Mountain. Go Rocky Mountain. Not too far away. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a doggo. We're looking for doggo. Um, by the way, I did have to add more of these because I had ran out. Um, and I think now we're back to normal if just missing, yeah, these things. So I'm gonna check this every now and then, like to make sure we're not running out of redstone and stuff, which our redstone isn't pumping out super fast, but I think we're going to hit a point where we're gonna be building up on these and we're gonna have a full stack set up there. So we should be good. And then this gives us some time to build up. We're already at 187 and this should constantly run no problem. And then also, yep, we're building up with building materials. So we're going to have stone and everything fully. And then we can do cool things with chisel and stone. Like, I think stone has some of the coolest, like, chisel stuff. And I think architect's palette's in here. Right? I'm pretty sure. Is it not? I thought it was swear I've seen it. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Stone. I know stone has a lot of useful things like um, we can convert it. What is this? Stone bricks, immersive weathering. Okay. And then this also has some really nice uses. Uh, let's see. We have chisel and then, oh yeah, mate, there, here we are. So yeah, we have all of these awesome looking blocks and the cool thing is smooth stone looks like calcite. So smooth stone is white, which I think looks really good up against like some brick and stuff. Ooh, ooh, interesting, interesting. Also getting concrete shouldn't be too difficult. I don't have gravel production, unfortunately. Um, that would be good though if I did, but we don't. Never seen this pack is create a core mod. If so, that's sick. Yes, create is the foundation of this pack. It is quite insane, honestly. If only chunks would just load. Are these just new chunks we're generating? Ah, that's why. Uh oh, what'd I do? Hit a tree. You know, I should definitely mine these when I see them. What? Well, I don't need it, but still. I need to mine this. We need more brass. Is there more of this just on the surface? <clears throat> There's so much. I might as well take advantage of it. It's so hard to like get away from these tools, by the way. Like it'll be so hard for me to give up vanilla tools for Tinker's tools when we have Vein Mine as an enchant. Like I don't want to give it up. Vein Mine on this pick is is amazing. The fact that we found a, a diamond pick with, or found a book I think that had Vein Mining on it from looting those those containers underground which is probably the best way, by the way, to find this book and to find tools that have these enchants on them is to find the dungeon structures and just loot the dungeons underground. And you can place torches pretty quickly. And if you honestly wanted to cheese the system, you can make a slingshot, right? You can make a slingshot from supplementaries and you can use the slingshot to shoot torches. So you put torches in your offhand and there you go. Are you forced to go Tinkers? Just keep it. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not forced to go Tinkers, but Tinkers is definitely a route. Like, definitely for the axe is the only thing I really wanted. There is a vein mine hammer, though, from Tinkers. It's just, I think the repairability of vanilla tools is really nice, right? Because you can just put mending on something. We can just get a mending villager. So, I know there's not easy villagers in here, but vanilla rolling isn't that difficult. 
And then you just go to the nether, mine up some quartz, and bam, your tool's fixed. You know? I, I know what we're doing right now is not focused directly towards the automation process, but it is an adventure, which I do love doing. And it is going to be for my, my sanity because I need a pet. I need coggers back. And I just, I miss coggers. So bear with me. I got to have my friend. What is coggers? Coggers is the spinning exclamation point coggers. Yes, it's it's carryover from Vault Hunters, but hey, Alfred, how are you doing, my dude? Coggers is the goat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Coggers is king. I wonder if Coggers can detect, like, it, it should be able to detect when we have uh, TPS issues in our main world from, from too much freaking create. Just waking up? was very interesting in this pack. This pack is uh, interesting, to say the least. Are we close? Where? What is... I wish we could pick these up. That's the one thing with this pack. You can't pick them up. You can't pick them up with a car contraption either. They're just sort of here. Um... Just, I guess they're just kind of using them to mark where, like, resources are at. Oh, we can do, like, calcite and gravel. Or like putting the, the ah, I hate these guys. Or putting like the the biome type, all kinds of stuff here. Should have her night vision goggles on so you guys can see. I do miss these having hotkeys like they do in uh, in one twenty. Can you do slash home at all in that? Villages will be your friend because villages are guaranteed a waste stone. So you just need to locate a village. Yeah. Only cringe packs <laughs> use commands. I do like how uh, all the mods used the set home commands. They're limited, right? By time, um, by de having a default uh, configuration for the ranks. So I liked that. That's not too bad. These these things. So definitely worth going into these buildings and like looting the stuff, everything underground. Because you'll have a high chance of getting yourself vein mining out of this. There's a lot of enchanted tools and books in there. So it'd be definitely worth it. It'd be really cool if you could upgrade iron tools directly into diamond tools in this pack. All right, this is a dungy. Um, dungeon. Let's all Luteruno all of this. Luteray. We're going to need all of this today because we are going to be automating Mage Bloom and also automating Source Berries. Possibly automating some food too off of it. Why not? Right? I think the Source Rolls are pretty good. Other than the Particle Effects, I just don't like Particle Effects all over the place. Glow flower. Oh, I thought it would give us glowstone. Does it not give us glowstone? No. Waste of your money, as Darkosta would say. Wait. Those books are reusable. You're... Al are you messing with me, Alfred? Wait, are you messing with me? Yes, they're infinite spells. 
you're new at ours. Oh, you've got to get into it. You've got to just like take the time, read some of the book. It's so powerful. It's got to be, at least as far as newer mods go, it's got to be one of the most powerful mods that exists currently. It is insane the things you can do. And, and, and I've barely even touched the surface of like possibilities, especially when you get into making your own spell books. It's insane. But yeah, almost every pack has one of these, and thankfully we found one. You loot these up. And yeah, they're reusable. They do cost your source. So early game, I went ahead and like rushed source here, but rushed getting into this armor by looting. Uh, the newer armor is way better to do, but this pack is an older version of ours. Oh, Tana, you've done Drink Me Farms? spells here yeah honestly the drink me drink me farms are so broken so broken <laughs> there you go albert boop and boop you have a forever home in this cave i'm sure somebody will eventually stumble upon it look how they've changed what spider eggs look like i don't know why they look so different weird Oh wait, that was a six months? Gifted six months, Katana. What the frick, man? What the heck, Katana? Boy, thank you. That was a six month long sub. Yeah. There you go. That's a long time. It's freaking six months. At least it's half the year of no ads. No, that's like the best gift someone could give like especially if you watch occasionally e even watching like every now and then i hate going into somebody's stream and then realizing i'm not subbed anymore and then i get an ad i hate that. <laughs> i hate ads on twitch man it's worse than you it's I i'm not used to it too because i have youtube premium so i don't ever see ads on youtube the only place i ever see an ad is if i'm joining somebody's stream and i'm not subbed to them and then i get hit with like six ads in a row and i'm like oh this sucks I think this is the, no, this is a crag mountain. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, ah. Darn it. That's awesome. Thank you, Katana, for that. Cheers. Hopefully we find a Sheba. We should find a Sheba. I could have done the 12 month one, but decided to go with the six month one instead. Oh my God. All right, we're looking for coggers. Honestly, I feel like, um, let's see. Hold on. I feel like between Alfred and I, we have destroyed a lot of servers. Yeah. There's, there's, yeah. Honestly. Sorry, server owners. Probably a few. <laughs> Just a couple. Just a couple. Just because it works in single player doesn't mean that you should use it on a server. I've bricked a few of my worlds here and there. It's really funny when like I've I've done videos, right, where I'm like, oh, here's this here's like the uh the setup, right? And then towards the end of the video is where I show how to manage the items properly so you don't end up with items flooding your world accidentally which would suck because that's a hard thing to kind of fix especially even in a single player world um on a server it's a lot easier to fix but 
a lot of people watch the first part of the video, they go, well, I like this. And then they don't realize that, oh, there's a whole item logistics setup that needs to go along with it. Yeah. Like with ours, playing with spell turrets? How did you break something with spell turrets? What is this? Moss? Well, at least I know where some moss is at. Oh, the explosion spell? Oh, yeah. What's what's crazy, right? Is that explosion, I think I'd seen that. Um What's what's crazy? is that spell, you can kind of do that with arrows and it's kind of insane. If you do a spell on like, I don't know if they have them in here, on like the enchanter's bow, I think it's the crossbow is sort of better, but you can do, cause the crossbow kind of gives you like a warning. You have to draw it back before you shoot it. So it's like better to protect yourself by doing a crossbow, which doesn't exist in this version. But yeah. Do I know what the spell prism? The, yeah, the spell prisms uh, exp like change the direction of your spells, right? Allow you to shoot a spell and split. I don't even think that's in here, is it? I don't think it's in this version. I've, I've covered a lot of ours. Done a a lot of ours. Like so much so that in all the mods nine, I'm not even really touching ours aside from drink me farming and just farming a, like doing some occasional like spells. I don't even want to use the book. I don't want to make any spells with the book because I'm, I'm really enjoying irons. Irons has been really nice. Not mod, moss. All right. We gotta be getting close. Hopefully there's a Coggers. What is this biome? This is pretty. It's like a, it reminds me of something. I just can't think of what this is. Can't think of it. Goodbye pet. Wait, oh, there was a pet over, you summoned a pet? Where is it at? Is it at the way, Waystone? If it's at the Waystone, then it's good. The Cliffs of Dover? Where is the pet? Oh, is it right here? There it is. Look at the little guy. The little guy. He's gonna forever be there. For nine? Says I don't have the flu. I just had I just got my flu shot, but I I'm sick. So hopefully I'm just like not as sick as I would have been if I hadn't have got the flu flu shot. I just happened to be at the doctor and they were like, "You want the flu shot?" And I was like, "Heck yeah! Give that that's like crack. Give it to me. Come on. I don't want to get sick. I hate the flu, dude. But usually I'm like too lazy to go get the shot. Then I just get wrecked." This is telling me this is the mountain. I don't think this is where I'm going to find coggers. Both your boys had the flu last week. Um, my kids are, my kids have the flu shot. You got boys, I got girls. Got three girls. You get the flu shot. A lot of workplaces actually give you money for getting the flu shot. Isn't that crazy? Like my wife's new job. They're like, yeah, if you get the flu shot, we'll give you 20 bucks. It's like, well, get the flu shot then. Three girls. Yeah, I have three girls. All right. I'm looking for, this is the Yellowstone Mountains. I have a feeling that it's not going to spawn on the Yellowstone Mountains. So... We can try Hayes Mountain? That's an extreme hills. Let's do Scarlet Mountain. Do 
You got both the flu and COVID. I've not had the COVID shots. Honestly, the thing that's like got me with the COVID shots is like, how many shots am I getting? Like, and how am I going to keep up with remembering all of that? There's no way I'm going to remember to go back in six months or whatever and get another shot and then get another booster. They've done made that whole system so confusing. I've already had the, the COVID three times. So like at this point, I'm kind of like, honestly, it's not that bad. I think the last time I got it was the worst where I did experience like trouble breathing. It was like painful to breathe. But it, it lasted maybe three days, three or four days. I'm pretty sure it's once a year now. Yeah, I, there's no way they're keeping up with like the variants and stuff. To me, it's just like whatever. If I get the L, I'll get the L, I guess. The L being COVID. I mean, it's unavoidable at this point, I think. So unavoidable. I'm, no, I'm not around people, so I'm not worried about like infecting other people. I work from home, so that kind of helps. I'm sure if I had a job where I was around other people, I would definitely be vaccinated. These little circles are kind of interesting, by the way. For those of you who don't know what these circles do, these are from Quark. And if you mine down, straight down, you will either run into diamonds, a diamond ore that's down here, ore vein, or you'll run into emerald ore vein. Kind of cool. It's almost like, hey, there's diamond down here. I love Quark, man. I'm I'm wanting Quark to be updated. Vasky! I'm sure you're busy. I'm sure Vasky's busy. No shots here, still kicking. Yeah, I I the flu shot though is the one that I I do every time I've gotten the flu shot, I've not gotten the flu. But the times almost every year that I didn't get it, because I'm usually too lazy to go get it, because I live in a kind of a rural area. And it's a pain to go like to Walmart to get the flu shot. So I, every time I've not done it, I've definitely gotten the flu and it's like the worst week ever. I, it depends on what flu you get as well. Oh, some of them are really nasty. Tablet of fast squirrels. Don't really want to ever use that, but I will take the obsidian. We need to automate obsidian. That is going to be on my list of to do's pretty easy with create. But we have to get infinite lava, like, sort of set in place. And I don't know if I'm going to go about it with trains. Just sending a train in to gather the lava. Or... Or I could go about it um, an another way. We can we can just make our own lava pit. Or... The, are these Shibas? I see the dots. No, it's a Drigme. Okay. Is there a Shiba though? Oh, there's another Drigme. There's another Drigme. I see normal doggos, but I don't see the Shiba in use. I hope they didn't block Shibas from spawning in the world. That would be so ridiculous. Holy wolf pack. So many wolves there are? What in the world? Yeah, that sucks. Maybe the Shibas don't exist in this. Do they have them disabled, maybe? Hmm. If not, we can just use a regular doggo. But I wanted a cogger so I put a sword in his mouth. <laughs> the poor chicken's gone, I know. But you guys summon pets here. Odd. I don't see them on the mini map.
What's the plan, Chosen? Oh, uh, well. To automate the source gems today. That is the plan. For my category, this is beach, desert, extreme hills. It, the wiki says they only spawn in mountain biomes. Forest. Icy jungle. Mesa. Mountain. Sheba's with the how hard is the warp zone recipe? You don't want to know. We don't want to know. Believe me, I would have it. I would have it. Oh no, I'm stuck in this. Ha <laughs> ha, I can still look at it. Meadow, rain, it's a meadow forest. Painted mountains, Rocky Mountains, Scarlet, Snowy, Snowy Peaks. Tech, thank you, by the way, for the tier three for 15 months, my dude. Oh, hold on. Basalt, Delta, these are nethers. What do I do? Scarlet, Painted Meadow, Jagged, Howling Peaks. Oh, the biomes. Wait, Frozen, maybe, maybe Minecraft? Base Minecraft, Wooded Badlands? Blooming Plateau, that's Terralith. Minecraft, Frozen Peaks, Jagged Peaks. Tech! This is wee! Thank you, Tech. Now you want to know? All right, I'll show you the recipe. Oh, there wasn't one found. Oh, it's probably because vanilla ones are all disabled. Thank you, Tech. Mountains. Mesa Mountain. I wouldn't think the snow biome. Okay. Why can't you search the category? That's such a pain. You're going to boot the pack. Don't look too deep into it. That's the, that's where you'll get in trouble. Don't, don't do it. Just, just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. It's a bad idea. Especially if you start looking at the quest lines. Did you suck at create? Hey, I, it's a learning experience and unfortunately it doesn't teach you anything. So you have to kind of like build off of knowledge that you might know. I think a, a better one is like create, um, which is an older version of create, but everything still works the same. Would be what create um, above and beyond. This one doesn't really teach you anything in the quests. Hawk Halo 117 oh my God, just Hawk. gave out 10 subs. Welcome in, Hawk. I see your message just a second ago. This is chat spinning through. Good morning, Chosen. Incoming gift subs. Oh, God, he even warned me. Oh, God. Oh, God. These are underground biomes. I need mountain biomes. Can we find one? Just one. Taiga, Swamp, I need the M's, Plains, Ocean, I went too far down. Hawk Halo 117 oh my God. just gave out one subs. I'm scared now to leave this menu.
<laughs> we didn't try Rocky Mountains, did we? No, we did. Painted. Nope, not found either. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Hawk, by the way, for the 11 gift subs. Jeez. No, I'm in a hole. I'm about to have a party with the guy. Yeah. Z quit. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to use. I got to use. There we go. The ultimate weapon. Nothing like bashing heads against another. A 20 stream watch streak? To how? How? Dang! 20 stream, that's gotta be the longest one I've seen. I mean, aside from my own watch Hello, streak. 117. Oh my Dabbed God. causing 1,000 bits to fall into Chosen's hands. Cheers. Oh my god. Here we go. Yep. I think I think when it comes to coggers, we may just not we may not be able to find one. My gear is taking a beating. I'll show the compass in a, a minute, I I promise, unless you look it up. I just don't recommend looking it up. There's you're just not getting it until late game. It's like hours. It's like embedded hours into the pack. Hawk, thank you for the thousand bits. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Kill! Not all the way out here! <laughs> no! That'd be a long journey back. <laughs> Alright. It's Axon time. Oh god, they hit so hard. Even without any sort of gear, like like any weapon or anything like that, they hit so hard. I respect that you were fighting with your hands. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, barehanded. It doesn't really help. This axe is not that great. It's it's honestly one at a time. Uh, even though, even though, honestly, I don't think I have the book on me. I do. Never mind. Wait. Oh, wait, no, this is the vault command. Wait, what is that? Hold on, wait, what? Oh, oh, why am I keeping that in my bag? That needs to be in my inventory at the base. Suffer, my wife's at work. She just started her new job. So you probably won't see her in chat very often until like summer I know it's sad she's probably sad too but she did get a job and she loves it way more than where she was at before so this this school that she's at now is way better let's just put it that way way better way way better Like they actually know what they're doing. But she is, she's, she's teaching kindergartners. <laughs> Which is the same age as our youngest kid. Hawk, ah, thank you. And then she'll be, uh, she'll be doing the fun, the fun stuff too, whenever she finally finishes college, which she's about to start her next semester. Chosen never dies. Oh, I do die. <laughs> yes, I do. I do die. Your oldest can Unfocused. sign up for pre-K. Dabbed causing 500 Unfocused. bits to fall into Chosen's hands. Uh, he comes a horn. <laughs> Thank you for the 500 salty bits. Chosen, do you play anything else but Minecraft? I'm like level... 43 in uh, the new season of uh, um, POE. 
if that counts. We got heads that'll eternally be here. Yeah, I play, I play Path from time to time. It gets really confusing for me though every time I finish the main campaign. I have finished the main campaign several times and then I start running maps. And it's like, mm, Coral Island and against the storm here lately, my wife's played Coral Island. I, I can't play games like that. I played like 40 hours into Stardew Valley and I completed the, um, the like in game of what Stardew Valley's in game is, um, where you get the tier, the highest tier map and you finish Dojo Mart or Jojo Mart and all that fun stuff. But, um, we just recently finished and beat Terraria on stream. It was last year. We uh, beat Terraria in a week and two days of streaming. So I think it was like 40 hours we beat Terraria on expert mode on stream. And I would say we completed it as we made the Zenith. So I had to kill. So after, by the way, it was my first time killing Moon Lord. After killing Moon Lord and taking Moon Lord out, right? I then had to, and that was after dying to Moon Lord, like, two other times and redoing all the phases. I had to then take out Moon Lord 20 times. We fought him 20 times. So now I I think I'm I'm actually an expert at fighting Moon Lord. Like I have no problem fighting Moon Lord now. It was 20 Moon Lord attempt. 20 times killing Moon Lord. Just to get a freaking thing that shoots cats. Yeah, anyways. Anyways. From Dre Isaac. Oh my god. Turn on the sprinkler. This We're in the middle of nowhere! Making it rain Crumbs. 500 bits. Coming oh back around. Oh my god. Test this, 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 this. Push you with 100 bits. Chrome with 100 bits. Uh, Chrome with 500 bits. Sorry, not 100. 500 bits. That's what spawned all of the, the meanie boys up here. Afternoon, how's things going? Going all right. Going pretty good. God, that's so cursed. I swear your skin is so cursed. <laughs> it's so cursed. It's still though. It's it's the head that's on uh on one of our armor stands. Shoots cats. Yeah, it shot it shot rainbow cats. That's the kitty cannon or whatever it's called. Kotona fourteen just gave out three subs. <laughs> that face. It's out of thank you for the three gift subs. Jeez. I thought we were hunting coggers today. Well, searching for coggers. I'm still, I need to check the config real quick. And make sure that coggers isn't disabled. That's sad. If coggers is disabled, why would they disable coggers? They don't do anything. Try summoning it. I guess I could summon one. Like, because we can exchange, right? I should just exchange one. I just don't know why they're not spawning. Yeah, sword that shoots nine cats. Yeah, that's what it does. Like, maybe, maybe we're in the wrong biome. It just says that it spawns in mountain biomes, and I'm not seeing them spawn on the map. Just sad. I mean, this is honestly not the right biome. But thank you, thank you guys. The hype trains are always so random. The current objective is to get a Shiba in you. Yeah, the current objective is Doggo. We must have Doggo. I'm sorry, chat. It may seem like a dumb objective and is not progression, but it's not always about progression. It's not always. 
Cherry Grove, they should spawn in mountain biomes. You should honestly spawn here. That's a lot of chickens. Holy smokes. Sorry, like I said, I'm still sick, so bear with me. This is a Swedish song? All right, um, let's see. You're still in here, Alfred. Let's see, let's see. So to, to make these warp stones, they require... Why would you eternal Stella that? They require you to take warped fragments and a time in the bottle. This is the recipe for a time in the bottle, or this one. Um, and then warped fragments, which apparently, I don't even know how you make warped fragments. I don't even think that's the right way, right? Yeah, because you have to have a warped stone. I don't, I don't know if this is a joke. That would mean there's a way to pick them up, right? As far as I know, there's no way to pick them up. I I'm pretty sure you get these warp fragments. I just don't know what from. You've seen warp fragments in loot chests? They might be in warp chests. You can get them from the loop. How do you start the loop? The time machine. The time machines are insane. Ours break spell might be able to break them. Can you try breaking a waste stone with your big contraption? I don't know. We could try and break one. That seems very risky. Where did you find this music playlist? It's uh it's a part of um <clears throat> it's a part of Pretzel Rocks. It's called Dungeons and Dragons. Make a backup. True. They could just override it and it doesn't drop anything. It's unbreakable. Or does it go poof? I, th I would I would assume that it would just go poof. If you try to break them, even with Silk Touch, it just breaks them. If you pick them up with a, you, you can't pick them up or at least you weren't able to last time I te tested, you weren't able to move them with a car contraption either. So. Like you just weren't able to do it. Dungeons and Dragons equals Vikings. Yeah. And Swedes. Oh, goodness. I like these, like, shanties, though. Good music. I thought it was more fitting than what we were listening to, which was Electro Swing. All right, if we don't find him in this biome, then we'll probably just summon one in. Is there anything over here? Oh, we've activated this one. Okay, so if we're heading this way, have we been this way? I mean, we can use the wipe stones that we currently see. Mine that warp stone? No, if I mine it, I know what happens when you mine it. It will break. You can see... 
But it shows that you can mine it. I'm pretty sure it breaks, though. I know it shows that there's a thing. Even if you silk touch it, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'll show you. It doesn't really matter. Right? It will break it. Okay, it drops these. Interesting. Oh, that's how you get ore fragments. That's new then. That's new. Okay. From the last time I played, because it would just break them. So I guess this is how you get your first start. Nuclear grenades require them. Okay, so this is how you get your start. So that makes your warp stone, which is not too bad, honestly. We're we're getting close to that. We'll we'll have like this stuff to to pretty much make the time of the bottle here soon. After today, because we'll we should have uh, source gems automated today. It only takes five to make one and you get six, so you can just constantly break more. But you have to have the other things automated. I like music like this. There was a um, an amazing, uh, which I recommend looking it up. It's a TED Talk by Seal, where he sung his entire TED Talk. Oh, it was so good, dude. I could listen to that on road trips over and over again on repeat. It's so good. It talks about his like childhood and like <laughs> growing up. It's so good. He has an amazing voice. Oh, yeah, and it's just like his guitar skills are fantastic. Would fortune affect the amount of fragments dropped? I don't know. Trying to check all these mountains because this is a crag mountain. And I'm not seeing Sheba spawn. Is this one? This is a goat. Hey, it's the goat. Hello. <laughs> I don't think goats have any use in this. Exchange a goat with a Sheba? I don't think there's a way to get enchants either off of gear. My specs, my specs are listed down by the way in the uh, description if you're interested. is a goat. Oh, a Sheba! We got one chat and we didn't have to cheat it in. Let's go. Look at him, it's Coggers. We got Coggers. Come here, Coggers. He's <laughs> so cute. I'm sorry, I had to. He's so cute. Coggers is back. Chat. The blep. Yes, the it's so good. Hopefully he doesn't get hit by a train. No, he's he's gonna be spinning boy. We're gonna put him on a spinning, a spinny thing. 
a turntable. Now we got to find a waystone. Interesting. Now at least we know where to find waystones and like mine them. The chunks load so slow compared to what I'm used to. Yay, Waystone. Where are we at? What is this? This is a Howling Peaks. Howling Peaks. Uh, Twilight. And Forest. What is this? That's one of the structures I don't think we've been to yet. Oh, by the way, I just seen this, which is super sad. Um, but uh, Jelly Jelly just passed away. I just seen it on uh, Instagram. Um, yesterday, Scars Cat. Kind of sad. But I mean, that's just the that's just how it is with animals. Unfortunately, we enjoy them while they they stay around, and unfortunately, we outlive them kind of sucks. Yeah, we've not been to this. Oh yeah, 17 years is a long time. Yeah, that's what uh, Scar said. 17 and a half years. That's a long time. That is a long time. That cat though is like forever in the in in one of the most played games in the world. And the cat never even never understand that, but it's it is it's kind of crazy. That had mineral in it. Interesting. Some cool doors. Repair windmill. Finish. Mechanisms. Investigate temple. Oh. Temple. Looks like something that I would have tried to done uh, do early, early on in my create endeavors. Like, oh yeah, we're going to get through this pack in this tiny little structure. Ooh, two runes. Self glide extend time harm. This is the book that you can find that's sort of a troll. It like harms you. So it gives you flight, but it hurts you. Oh yeah, Alfred, if you do play this, loot. You won't regret looting, looking for structures early on because I don't know how I would get through this book without this takeoff book. I found it in a ship wreck or in a ship loot chest. Um, of course, you can find them through all of these buildings too because it would be a living hell to try and get through this. There's a sanity meter. Let's see, where, where's our sanity at? Uh, we're not corrupted yet. I don't even know if the sanity meter is implemented fully. I think there was a plan to have like a full sanity thing in the mod. Just hasn't been implemented. Yeah, looting and finding these buildings is amazing. Like as soon as you can make a structure compass, which is pretty early on, it, it's 100% worth. You get tons of these resources. Storage sucks, though, early game. There's no getting around how much early game storage sucks. It's pretty bad. 
ocean jar. The only issue I usually have is when storage is gated early. Are backpacks hard? You will find them in loot structures, and yes, they are hard. So here's your basic backpack, but it only has nine slots, and you need leather, string, th pockets you can make to upgrade them, and then you also will upgrade them with different components, such as brass sheets. Um, however, the backpacks are heavily gated. Notice this doesn't have any upgrade slots. Only very specific ones have upgrade slots and or have the ability and you need to do obelisk or final PCBs to add the upgrade slots and then the upgrades for the backpacks are even gated. So, so like I said, just don't have expectations for the pack because it will make things really hard. If you like jump in and you expect it to have all of these niceties, it doesn't. It doesn't. I would not expect the niceties. Look at that thing. This, this would be great to find early game. We have vanilla hoppers and some depots. I'm always taking everything, even this late into the pack. Because, like, I'm going to need and use all of this anyways. Except for this, I won't need, I won't need that. Out here. Oh, I thought those were crushing wheels? I was about to be like, holy crap. Ooh, these large chains are pretty. Industri industrial decor. I'm gonna have to check that out. This also gives me so much inspiration when I see these buildings. I'm like, I'm like, okay, that's an interesting way of using like resources for decoration. The windmill bearing in here, I think. I think these are all, these aren't even glued. Windmill bearing. Elm's wheel. So the pack is definitely meant to be an experience, yes. And I feel like taking your time, because the first time I played it, I was kind of rushing, and I played it on our supporter server, and like me rushing it, it definitely gave me the feeling of this is awful, and now that I've slowed down and I'm just taking it kind of slow, I'm actually really enjoying it. Really good. Keep in mind though, I've, I have learned a lot about Create. There's so many mechanics and like weird stuff. It's just, it's just it's like a lot. I will say so far it's the most fun you've had in the mod pack in a while. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at some point you're going to have like tons of resources, right? So even at the stage I'm at, I have now the ability to make anything I want from the create mod at like really no cost except for wood, which is infinite because I have a tree farm. Right, so. And that's how, that's, how, that's what you want to do. You want to build like a factory. Early game, you want to build a factory for making more factory components. Which I feel like is what Elon Musk is doing right now. He's building robots to, to then build more robots to then build the factories to then work in the factories. That sounds pretty cool, right? Uh, why you were lagging with shaders of the RTX 2080? Why am I lagging? Because create and shaders don't really go that great together. Also, streaming off your GPU at the same time? 
doesn't really go good together. Right? So create is pretty rough. Yep, 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 yep. You also think something is wrong? I think the only issue I have, like, items on the ground is this farm right here. I need to fix this farm. I'll do right now. Pneumatic craft villager? Yeah, not spreading infrastructure out? Yeah, I mean, there is infrastructure spread out, but it's not horrible. It's hard to spread out. Um, what I'm thinking is like, this is just the place where I'm making items and then we'll spread out later on. Uh, can you run a profiler? Is there a profiler built into the pack? I don't know if there is. This is a nice thing that's in the pack is the ability to do this kind of like from Terraria. It like auto sorts into the chests if you already have that item in there. Is there a way to visualize in game? I don't think there is. Observer would be nice. My TPS is fine though. You need to downgrade Spark to make it work. I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> Frame rate is pretty decent, honestly, for what's going on here. Like when I logged in, it's when I stream. So I can't really help it. Like when I'm not streaming, I'm getting over 70 FPS. When I am streaming, 30 FPS is what it goes to. It's just a side effect of streaming on one PC. It's honestly. Wake it, Dizzly. Dizzy, my God, my brain. Think of the five months. Wicked Lizzie, appreciate that. I don't know why I said Wicked Dizzy. God, what is wrong with me reading today? My brain. I need two PCs. Honestly, I really do. I eventually will upgrade, but I'm just dreading the whole, like, managing audio. Just, just I don't want to do that. Am I planning to upgrade? Uh, not yet. It is a huge, huge hassle. I don't really know what I would upgrade to unless it would be a graphics card, which I think it might be better on a newer graphics card just running off of one PC. I'm sure if I had like a 4090, it would be no, no issue. Just need to make sure that with my current setup that my, um, my power supply can handle everything. Have you done the whole force Minecraft to run in your new video card thing? Um, in audio such a pain. No.
And I didn't notice a difference between batching or instancing. This is really bad. Look, when you turn it off, look at the frame rate. When you turn off flywheel, compared to when it's on. Uh, so I don't want to set it because I, I render and stream from my graphics card. Like I, I record and stream from a graphics card. Streaming uses a separate encoder on the GPU. Then how come it tanks my performance in game? Whenever I stream. I'm not, I'm not into the super, super technical. Like I, I get by with what like I, we have, but what I use, but. What about VRAM being used up, but worth. Hmm. Possibly, I have no idea. But, yeah. It's fine though at first on the stream. It's just with some mods, it starts to become overwhelming. All right, let's put this away. I must have put my bread somewhere. There's a pretty decent tutorial on YouTube with a two PC setup. So the two PC setup, I already have everything like ready to go for it. It's audio. Audio is so such a pain. Audio is such a pain. And I know the Go XLR can do it, but I just don't know if the way that I currently have my audio set up to be able to control whenever I edit it um, with multiple channel, like multiple streams of audio. Yeah. Video picture of it. Manage 3D settings. Perform. Try that later if you want. I would assume I've already done that. I'm pretty sure. I've already managed that. Try that later. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. I already. It's already set up and managed. Mm -hmm. The Minecraft launcher is a part of it for some reason. Mm -hmm. I know I can't change it right now while actively streaming, but I'll look at it later. All right. I'm going to have to take a break here in a minute. To go to the bathroom. As one would do. Three rabbit hide, not a bad one. When when you originally did it, you went from thirty FPS to hundred. Do you use in the Nvidia to record from? <clears throat> Tech talk on Twitch hurts your soul. Sorry.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, I'm here for the conductor position. You finally got those trains running? Yes, I did. Oh, shoot. You will go in the the hole of conductors. Oh, goodness. I love the I love goggers. We got to get them on a turntable. So that was my first goal for today. I'll hit you up. Um, turn press on Discord. Gotta run and get the kids for lunch. Have a good one, man. Do, 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 do. All right. We're all sorted up, I think. Okay. When we get back, we're gonna get Coggers equipped. Actually, we can probably get Coggers equipped right now. Coggers, can you hold a builder's one? No, you can't. Tigers is back. Back, baby. All right. I will be right back, chat. I will see you guys in just a moment. Join the be right back screen. You're back. Up. The compass. And is it is it going to be a good idea for us to like find a slime chunk as well to put this in? We probably don't have iron and redstone. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think it'd be. Oh man, how did people survive that fall? I don't know. Maybe they like land on. I don't know. <laughs> Not Is this it? I called that sand. That was totally gravel. Oh my god, it's violet. Yes, we found it. Alright, I'm back. My brain, man. He literally just went and uploaded a video during stream. Unbelievable, the audacity. They're all scheduled. They've already been recorded. <laughs> oh, 
goodness. Let's actually combine these two. Okay. So, now that we're back, let's go ahead and get Cogger spinning. We'll make a turntable real quick. Boop, and... Boop, and... Boop. You miss Coggers. Well, Coggers is now back, ready to rock and roll. I swear I grabbed a redstone. Okay. And then we need a lever. No, it's a... um. What is it called? Crank. Oh, some cobble slabs. And a stick. All right, are you ready, Coggers? We're about to do this. I don't think Coggers is ready. How'd you find a Sheba? They only spawn in mountain biomes. So we went to a mountain biome and we finally found one. All right, Coggers. On you go. This would probably be easier, wouldn't it? Yay, Coggers is back! Exclamation point, Coggers! Put him in a conductor's seat. We need to get another one. I should have got more. Good to have them back. Good to be back. All right, now it's time for magic. It'll be nice too with ours. I don't know if down the road it's gonna be easy or not, but the potentially automate day. Just met this dog, but I kill or die for him. <laughs> Rid. <laughs> He's so cute. He's a Beyblade. He's literally a Beyblade. All right. Somebody's like, somebody in here. You know, somebody in here has got to be like, what's a Beyblade? What's a Beyblade? All right. Time for us to pull out our clipboard. I don't even know where I put a clipboard. Where did I put my clipboard? Okay. Good coggers. Done. Get crushing and smelting automated. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, with that, we Crag probably... Nuff. Oh, God, Started Crag. up the helicopter at, 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 to give chosen 500 bitties. Thank you for the 500 bits. I appreciate that. Who's Beyblade? Oh, God. I can't even. I can't even right now. Can't even. Making a slight comeback right now. Is it? Is there a new Beyblade TV show? Because that would be kind of, kind of cool. Beyblade, let him rip. I remember that man. I loved Beyblade. Back when they they were like, man, how can we sell more tops? Oh, let's let's make a show about fighting them. Wait, he has an axe. You think I would, you think I would you be, is it, is it fair to use a sword against somebody who 
doesn't have a sword? No. Oh. They're, they're barehanded. So I'm just asserting my dominance. With my bread. It's okay. I have big, meaty fists. <laughs> I should let Coggers fight it out for me. But we traveled like 7,000 blocks to find Coggers, so. Coggers, you see this? You see this guy? Look at this dude. Thank you, Craig. I'm using bread against them. Yeah, it's their weakness. It's super effective. Okay. Back to what I was thinking about doing. We need to set up two farms. They need to be spinny farms. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We're, I'm getting ahead of myself. We need a crushing factory and a smelting factory to, or washing factory. Smelting and wash, then washing for ore. Mm How -hmm. do I want to do this? The train is going to run over all the pets. Yeah, it will. Did they kill the puppy? No, 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 they didn't. It's somewhere. Cosmo Valley. Drop their cat and 500 bits exploded from it. Meow. You dare Meow. use a baguette against me. Meow. I'm too yeah. French for that, Titi. The Bada baguette. Boom. Boop, boop, boop. That's a, that's a thick baguette. I don't think this is a baguette. Baguettes are skinny. This is a loaf of bread. This is a big old loaf of loaf of bread. Italian. Everything bread is Italian now. Cosmo. <laughs> oh god. I'm trying to think though, how are we going to by the way, thank you for the 500 bits. How are we going to how are we going to set this up? So I, I, I'm assuming I want to wash. Like ore. It, and it works for everything, right? So like we get bonus stuff from doing this. So for example, if I crush this, I get the raw and then I wash it, I get nuggets. So we don't get, we don't get redstone from washing this way. We'll get redstone from central centrifuge. So is there a benefit? I mean, we get a little bit extra. We get a little bit extra from washing. We can get clay from washing copper. And quartz from washing gold. So it's, it's probably best. And then from zinc. We get gunpowder. Ooh, definitely washing. We're definitely washing. I usually don't get pressed. But yeah, I do need ore processing set up. That would not be too bad of a thing to get done. Oh, you know what? I almost wonder if, like, the pets that are all around are probably not helping with the uh, lag situation. I, I forget that, like, name tags and stuff can cause frame rate problems. And I don't clear them out very often. That shouldn't be an issue, though. No, it's definitely create. It's definitely create. Guys, we're all talking about fast food. Oh my god. 
Talking about french fries. Fast food. Okay. <clears throat> so, I think I know what I want to do. I think what we're going to do is probably use a smart shoot. And we'll use a... Let's see. What all can we do with this? We can crush it. And that produces nuggets of experience. So we'll need to make sure that those get straight through. And go through the smart shoot. And then this. This can be washed. It's interesting they removed redstone from the iron processing. That's funny. Okay. So we're going to need a couple of shafts. We're going to need some chutes. I want to get some toolboxes set up today. We should do that. We should do that also right now. Yeah, I think before we get into iron, let's do let's do toolboxes. Yep, yep, yep. I think that would be a fantastic thing for us to do. You worked at fast food chains personally? I think it's terrible if you eat normal amounts of it at a time. Yeah, it's not good for you. But I don't eat a lot of food and cholesterol, like you were mentioning right now, cholesterol being an issue. You can have you can have uh, high cholesterol in everything you eat. So it just some people manage it better. Cholesterol is not good for you though. Eighteen months is a nice depends. start to the year. It definitely depends. No fat in your blood. Good old bl fat blood. Um, <laughs> Razgriz. Thank you, thank you, by the way, for the 18 months. Oh, yeah, this is the start of the year. So good, so good. I love that I can just kind of just take my time playing this pack, though. That's what I enjoy. Like, if I want to just, like, step back and I'm like, you know what, we're going to make this. I'm going to just make it. Like, I'm going to just be like, ah, I need to make toolboxes. All right, well, let's make toolboxes. I'm just going to make some toolboxes. Do we have enough leather? Toolboxes are pretty cool. Um, Somebody was telling me, though, that I might want to up my range. But then again, I'm like, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if we're going to worry about upgrading our range. I'm not worried about it. The range, though, is, I remember being pretty, it's pretty, pretty low. But it's helpful for putting, like, some of your, like, main stuff in there. Jenny had the issue with range, yeah. It is pretty low. Make eight of them. We should probably make nine. That way they can all fit in the top row of a backpack. the backpack or carrying the toolboxes around suck well the good thing is is you can just punch them put them in your bag and all of the items that are in them is going to be stored so we just need to basically define our toolbox right so on a toolbox we can't name it up here that'd be nice if we could and i'm pretty sure we can't like rename it either so let's clear this out and let's go ahead and get some things from create that we can set up in each toolbox. Um, so, first things first. Let's do um, movement. So we are going to do movement items. So, gearboxes of both sides. 
And there's only, let's see, two, four, there's eight slots. Eight slots. A backpack with create stuff is better. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Sometimes it, it's... I think for some of our base, basic stuff, this will be great. Because I have to go back and forth. So this will be item transfers. Cogwheels. One, two, three. We have six. Um, small cogwheels. And then we need... Uh, large cogwheels. And I think that's it for basic... Uh, power movement. I'm missing something. Oh, um, chain drives. Okay, so shafts. Belt. Vertical gearboxes, regular gearboxes. Cogwheels, cogwheels. Chain drives, casings. Okay. Uh, now, renaming this, I don't think we can do that. I don't know if it stays. Let's name this movement. Hey, good. It holds it. <clears throat> yeah, these are pretty neat because whenever you place them down, if you hold down alt, now we have a menu that pulls up. And if we have more than one of them, They'll, it'll be, it's even better. And we can also color them, which we'll probably end up doing. Okay, so now we've got that done. So what should we make now? So that's movement. Maybe we should do um, item transfer, right? So andesite tunnels and funnels and shoots and all of that fun stuff. Um, that's important, right? Um, so movement. Also, by the way, this is something else you can do. You can just do this and return items to toolbox. And if there's inven items in your inventory, it goes right into the toolbox. The toolboxes are useful. Um, -doo 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 -doo, but the range on them is pretty low, so you have to pick them up and like bring them to the work site. Which makes sense. That's kind of what a toolbox is for. That's like real life. Let's see if we can get enough items here, so... Smart shoots, shoots, tunnels, and then brass tunnels, funnels. Uh, now we have two more items. Um, item transfer. Oh, um, weighted ejectors. Chat, help me out. Help me out. What are other other things? Interfaces? You think maybe interfaces should go in here? Um, I would say interfaces would be like in a contraption toolbox. Is there another way to send items aside from all of these? Send and route items. I feel like that's it. Depots. You know what? Depots might be under the weighted ejector. It's like a depot, but it's an advanced depot. Kind of like a brass depot. The filterable depot. Yeah, that, that works. I think that's it for that. Okay. And what will we call this?
Okay. So, now. Now what do we need to do? Maybe one that has machines in it? So, like, uh, encased fans and... We definitely need one for fluids. Yeah, we can do fluids transfer. That'll be good. Solid Reaper with the Prime for three months. Welcome back. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. One for train stuff? Yes, yes, yes. That'll have to be here soon. Thank you, by the way. Welcome back. 25 stream streak. Okay, that beat out text. That, that, that now is the biggest streak I've seen. That is the biggest one I've seen so far. Wow. Yeah, so I'm thinking on this one, maybe, um, like I said, uh, things that we use a lot for like, like a mixer and like, um, I think there's also basin, right? Basin, mixer, millstones. What are some other things that we use a lot? The press, the mixer, the millstone. The saw and the drill. And then the crushing wheels, which is an advanced mill. And there's got to be one other thing, right? Fans. Fans, yeah, fans, fans. That's it. Perfect. Encased fans. And then we'll have a redstone, which will be the clutch. We'll have a redstone container. Do I have any fans laying around? Fan. Is there any fertile soil type other than lily pads? There's um the one from... What's it, what's it called? Um, you can find it in some of the structures and just mine it from Forbidden. Forbidden Arcanus has a fertile soil. This thing, magical farmland. Oh yeah, replace the crushing wheel with deployer. Good idea. Do I have deploy? I just got a deployer. Okay. Okay, so let's set this toolbox up. And these hold quite a few of these items. I think it's 128. So two stacks of items. What would these be called? Tools? Chat, would this be like tools? Machines? Processes? Processing. Maybe. Bits and pops. This is processing. I'm going to go with processing. This is going to be so nice once we get this done. Um, call them flippity flops. Of 
storage. What do you want for storage? So some barrels. Some regular chest. I like using spruce chest. There's going to be more storages, right? <clears throat> we could maybe put like void upgrades. Storage. Maybe put different drawer sizes. Yeah, I put item vaults in here. We have some one by one drawers, barrels, and then chest. What else um, would really work with this? Um, inside of the storage. We can maybe put the storage readers, maybe the portable item interfaces. And I feel like these should be like redstone, the threshold switch, the observer stuff. That should be a redstone. Buckets. That should be in fluids. Storage controller, drawer controller. Ah, we don't have those yet. They're too expensive. We don't have them just yet. Um, fluids. Now that'll be its own thing. I'm sure we'll figure. We can always add more. I think. I'm trying to think. Is there any other storage I would want to put in here? I just the only thing I can think of is like putting like void upgrades, like drawer upgrades of different tiers. Maybe pusher and puller upgrades, hoppers maybe, no, pusher and puller upgrades, like. Our configuration tool. I wonder if that'll mess up, that's probably a good thing to keep in the backpack. Ooh, we can put these in there. Mm. I think that might be it for this one. Unless we add like a crafting table, maybe? Hoppers. I think hoppers would be probably good. Yeah, I think hoppers would be good. Let's make a few hoppers because we'll use those every now and then. Right, we'll put that there. And like, I, I, I think a, another good thing to use would be the, the pusher and puller upgrades. Um, just to have. 
pusher. And we'll have them filtered. Yeah. Later on, we can make these in mass, and that would be a lot easier. Like we'll just have them all in mass, and we'll be good. Perfect. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Pusher and puller upgrade inside of our storage chest. Storage. All right, we're getting there. You think a drawer controller? We, we're uh, so drawer controllers aren't something we're going to be using a lot. Things that we put in here are things we're going to be using a lot, and I don't think a drawer controller is one of them right now. I can't just make a drawer controller because, like, I mean, I guess I could. I can make controllers, but I, I'm not going to use them right now. They will help later on for like wireless stuff, I'm sure. We'll figure it out. We can always replace things. Worth keeping in mind. I, I'll keep it in mind. Okay. Make a fluid one. That's easy. So we will have our pipes, then we have tanks, and then we'll have our copper casing, which is used a lot for this. Drain, and then we also need the uh, the, the dripper thing, whatever it's called. I think I have one, but I do have a sealed mechanism, so. And it requires a hopper, doesn't it? Okay, so we got our spout. One more thing that is create fluid related. We don't need a hose pulley. Uh, there's a fluid interface. Not worried about it. Oh, a copper valve. Maybe. Mm. I think that's it. Pumps. Yeah, we have pumps. Pump, pipes. So we have we we just have room for one more item. The only thing I can think of is like valve handles. Like unless we decided to put portable fluid interfaces in here. Are oh, you blind? No, you're fine. Oh, there's this fluid valve. Basins? No, we have basins in another set. Oh, this... Well, that's for the fan, the nozzle. Honestly? Hmm. 
What's it called? Lost it. We'll make a faucet and it'll go in there. What did I just do? What in the world? It just sent my boxes everywhere. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Where'd they all go? Okay, item transfer, processing, bees. All because there's a toolbox in there. So, we'll do pumps, pipes, could just do casings in another setup, and then we could just, we could put the fluid interfaces in here. Yeah, I think we'll put the casings elsewhere. Okay, so um, tanks. Rain. Bout. Smart. Faucet. Fluid. Rip anvil. Do I have another anvil? I need to start picking up anvils. Hacks taking on takes a really long time. Do anything in. Ready for storage. I feel like that's what slows me down the most is just trying to find something inside the inventories. Late through anvils. Didn't even know that. Does it actually hold a large amount of items? It holds uh, two stacks, I believe. And the thing is, is it's really nice because it like the way it interacts with your inventory, which we'll get into here in a bit whenever we start working with it. It'll prevent me from needing to go back and forth all the time. That's the thing that's really nice. Is it four stacks? Four stacks. Yeah, that's that's the nice part about using them. I should have I should have already done this, but this was the thing I was dreading was kind of going through and labeling everything and making sure we had everything. But now that we do have everything, we can do whatever we want. Let's do a redstone one. So redstone contact. Even this is contraption related. Let's see first. Um, definitely smart observer. Definitely threshold switch. Mm. Uh, do, 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 Definitely want our create. Where are they at? Redstone links. I think these have items in them. 
Nope, they're regular. No links. I would say we can craft up some of the create redstone stuff. Powered latch. Regular levers, probably. Definitely want repeaters. Pulse repeater, my beloved. Yeah, I don't know if we should just put all of the, like, just, just create related redstone. I mean, I definitely want, like, redstone. Porches. Um... What other things do I need? A pulse repeater. Is that brass? Right. I need to craft more brass. Zinc and copper, which I don't have anymore. All right, let's add them to our list. Okay. So definitely pulse repeater, pulse extender. We already have powered, we have the powered toggle latch. And then there is the powered latch. And then we need, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. So we have room for two things. I feel like vanilla comparators would be good. repeater Does create have a comparator option? Um, that's kind of what the threshold switch is. Ka well, kind of. I suggest you use the storage mod immediately. What storage mod? What are you talking about? We're still going to use this even once we have the other thing up. Like, this is going to be used, I think, throughout the our entire journey. Dark fan. Yeah, because he can't do that right now. Yeah, I can't just like use it. <laughs> Otherwise I would. <laughs> AE2 is a hundred percent blocked, yeah. Alright. Another toolbox. 
All right. So we've got the majority of things sort of lined out. Now let's go with um, contraption stuff. Rope pulley. Redstone contacts. Piston extensions. Sticky mechanical pistons. Mechanical pistons. Um. Freeze. Mechanical bearing. Should we, we should probably do like, um, because we're going to run out of space, like not redstone contacts. Things that do move and push things. Seems like that makes sense, right? Mechanical bearing. Uh, maybe not even the, the items like the extension poles. Elevator fully. Uh, do these go into backpacks? Yes, they do go into backpacks, so it's really good. It is really great that we can do this. Um, okay, windmill bearing. These are things that move items or move machines for contraptions. Uh, do 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 do. I am missing the gantry itself. Art assembler. Could do that. Cart assembler and um, then what else? Cart assembler. We need a gantry. I think that's the only thing we're missing, right? Is the gantry. These are all ways we can technically, like, get something turning and moving. But yeah, gantry is the only thing we're missing. All right. Um, casing in a slab. Full inventory is giving me anxiety. There's a lot of stuff in my inventory, isn't there? Because of crafting table, I don't really need it. Okay, this and I feel you on that though. That's the thing, this pack it's pretty tough getting over the like initial like storage. It's, it's going to feel really rewarding when we're out of this, which should happen today or soon. We should be able to do it today. Okay. So cart assembler gantry, rope pulley, elevator pulley, mechanical piston, sticky piston. Mechanical bearing, windmill bearing. This case, storage is in it. I was playing. 
when I was playing, it was on the dev build. Yeah, it's it is in it now, but honestly, Dark Fan, it's not a help. It's not that much help. <laughs> Cause like <sighs> there's there's they removed all of the good stuff. Um Right? Uh, so you can upgrade your barrels. But the only thing that's nice, I guess, is you have a storage controller that you can make. But, you know, you know, you already know the like limitations of that. It, it doesn't give you like a interface. So you still can't search the inventories. It's pretty, it's a lot. If you have a shulker one, yeah, but you're still searching the inventory all the all the time. So this, you just pull everything up and it puts it back in for you. It'll be nice. I know you can use the Tinker's crafting station with a controller. That's not my problem. My problem is searching for crap. It's just a pain. Pushing the integrated dynamics is what you end up doing. I'm I'm about to be there. We're automating source gems today. We will have that today. You really need to learn integrated dynamics. It's almost like you need like to learn integrated dynamics and to use it at its fullest. You need to have probably done at least an introduction to computer science. I would just take like and, and watch like um, an introduction to computer science and it will really help you with that mod. Yeah, just literally do a C do CS50. Like literally watch the first few hours of CS50 and you'll be fine. Like it'll help you a lot. Yep, yep. I'm doing CS50 Python, but I have watched like eight or more hours of the regular CS50 or C. Using CubeJS, have experience with coding with CubeJS. CubeJS is JavaScript. Um, but it, I, I still feel like even if you've used JavaScript, you, you're probably better off still watching some of the CS because the thing that integrated dynamics uses is not, um, what you're going to see from just doing basic um, JavaScript. Because you just need to understand the like fundamentals of what all the symbols mean. Because yeah, you're, you basically are fully programming. Um, also, I think everything's based off of JSON stuff. JSON, JSON, ugh, JSON formatting inside of it as well. Yeah, you just kind of need the fundamental what do we call this? Move movement? Move let's get physical. Ooh, contraptions is good. Right? Rotation. Movement. Contraption.
This is exactly what they're called movement anchors, according to uh, according to Create Wiki. Contraptions can be made by using movement anchors. Okay, what else? I know this is taking a long time, but it, like I said, it'll pay off. Now the extension poles, gantries. Extension poles, gantries. Ropes? Just create? Create doesn't use a rope. Rotation. This will be where we put the interface, I think. We'll put interfaces. Um, yeah. Uh, redstone contacts. <clears throat> what Minecraft version? This is 118.2. To train signals. That's the train stuff. Okay. Um, portable. So interfaces. We need fluid interfaces. Interface. No, we put fluid interfaces inside of these, didn't we? Inside of our fluid. Well, I probably shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Okay, so instead of fluid interfaces, we could use we could put something else in there. Put hose pulleys in there. Terralith is wild. Terralith is amazing. So cool. Those two interfaces. We'll have gantries and piston poles. And we have two more slots. Um, redstone controls. What are other some contraption things that we can make? Let's see. There's contraption controls. These are new. These are really more for trains though. I would, I would say. Elevator contacts. Trying to think what else would go on a contraption. Oh, we'd probably want rails. Regular minecart rails. Where would those be at? Okay. Not seeing any. Maybe, maybe rail shouldn't go in here. Man, it's like so confusing because I got to think about every like possibility of like what 
needs to be in these categories. It's really hard to categorize everything. We could put like linear chassis in here. Like radial chassis. This is like... Didn't put speed controllers anywhere. Yeah. We're getting to the point now where it's like... Hmm. Chassis? Oh, you mean cobblestone? I know, super glue has like kind of ruined the need for chassis. Even though chassis can be used to like, right, what, pick up stuff? Like, it's still useful. Chassis are interesting. Okay, fluid interface. These are our interfaces. These are like the things that would go on our contraption that allow the contraption to work. That's basically it. Aside from glue? Oh, there's a, there's this, a sticker. Those are kind of cool. Yeah, that probably needs to be on the list. And then also contraption controls. Maybe sales? Because that also, I think sales, yeah. Sales. And then one more redstone contacts. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Okay, um, wind sails. I know I have some. So hard to see. Grab some poles. Let's go up here and grab some. Kind of curious. Has something stopped? I feel like something has stopped in some way. We're getting iron. Iron is full. Redstone has stopped. Oh God, I'm kind of scared. All right, I want to go see, make sure we're getting redstone. Why would our redstone stop? I'm scared. Why is our redstone stopped? Our sand has stopped. This is probably one of the most frustrating things is like one piece of like cobble getting stuck in this and stopping the whole system. I need to... 
Where's it at? Movement item transfer. So I can do this. I can go wait ejector. send this I should just send it out here yep now it should never stop hopefully got back from the Olimon's 9 video. Awesome stuff. <clears throat> Going to start the uh, same reactor setup in my world. Thanks, Chosen. Yeah, it's great. Getting a reactor going is fantastic. Darn sand stopping. That's frustrating. That should fix it. I don't think there's anything else that'll build up in here. It's just somehow this, I don't even know how this makes it onto the belt from that far away. I don't have another seat. I have a feeling that we're going to get... I'm going to fall off of this. When you start going. Did I use power for the reactors or mechanism? For right now, I'm using power. You get so fed up with cobble in the belt. Made it an arm machine, forgot the name. I don't collect cobble into lava. Oh god. Why? What did he ditch me for? What did I do to him? Currently, as I don't feel like automating dry ice. Well, you don't have to use dry ice. Dry ice will get you at your max. I didn't pay my ticket. Oh, darn. <clears throat> automating dry ice is so easy, though. You, but you, do, you don't have to do it. Yeah, I need to put another seat on the train. Didn't I just get some seats? If I tear down the train right now does that break the conductor settings hopefully not oh that's a stool from quark uh... yeah too far gone now. Should have waited for chest. Where's my glue? Should always have it in my backpack. I love how all of our contraptions and stuff, though, is just built upon, like, gluing things together. What? 
It's on. I have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. Reserve station. Information about train, unnamed train. No suitable path to the next scheduled station cannot be found. What? Why? What did I break? How did I break the train? Just switch the time to what 30 seconds read the message And no information about train, unnamed train. Bruh. Oh my God. Actually wheezing. Streamer blindness is real. I mean, it is. I mean, if you're expecting me to just understand right away when you're not going to happen. You're saying read message. I just wonder why it's saying the destination could not be found. What's in the way? Need to reset the progress on the schedule. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Actually helpful. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. I'm still new to trains. I don't really understand a whole lot about the, how the trains work. So something that may be obvious to you may not be obvious to me. So bear in mind. Um, so you should switch to cargo and activity instead of time. Mm, maybe later. Right now I like the time. Okay, so I grabbed, I, I, got, I got all flubbered. Okay, so we need these. That is slime, redstone, and stone.
Is it stone button? That's stone. No, it's log. Bump coggers off. Okay, put that there and then that. Perfect! Okay, so what do we call that? That's gonna be a, another question, right? What should this be called? These are like items that get moved. Hmm. You don't know how create doesn't make you want to throw your keyboard. You just sometimes you just gotta just gotta kind of break down everything and just kind of accept that it's going to be tough. Actuators, perhaps? A blizzard magic. Thank you, by the way, for that prime. Welcome to the crew. Good to have you. Boop, 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 and boop, boop, boop. Thank you. Into the box. Into the box you go. I feel like it's always night in our world. That was a nice skin. That's bright. That was a bright skin. All right. That's done, and we got to call it something. I just don't know what yet. You were saying, um, actuators? What is... Do the names show up when you alt? Yes. Yeah, they show up in that menu. Um... Let's see. Entry... No, this will be contraption. Mechanisms? Maybe? Contraption mechanisms? that nine we're missing okay that's nine that's all nine of them i mean is that is that everything for right now i think that's like every like main thing for right now we don't have one for trains yet but we could set that up just a simple one with like random train stuff 
Oh, we don't have crafters in anything, but that's fine. We'll make those as needed for now. That probably could have been in the, the storage chest. We also don't have anything for crushing wheels. Brain casings. Train signals. We still haven't made a bunch of this stuff. So once we start making more of the train stuff, it'll probably get put into its own container. I think that's how it'll end up working. For now, let's put a casing one that's going to have like our different casings. I want to say I feel like that's not a good idea either. We'll just keep casing separate. <clears throat> Okay. So, yeah, we'll, uh, hmm. Box bag. We need a dye at a couple of colors. We should have plenty of dye. Kragnov just gave out right. one subs. Thank you, by the way. Thank you for giving that sub to Screamy. 86. Screamy. Interesting. All right, there we go. And then then I'm just like I'm like prolonging the inevitable honestly at this point. I am definitely prolonging the inevitable. I don't think I'm worried about changing the colors of the containers right now. Okay. He was testing something. PayPal was being blocked on my computer. Oh God, that's not good. Figured it'd say something when you change yourself to a six month sub. Oh, did you up? So you updated yours to six months. Oh my God. You may, it may do it if you like refresh or maybe on the next, I don't know how that works. All right. So, um, let's take a look at our clipboard. Okay, we were gonna get the processing set up. I know this sounds like crazy what we're doing here, but let's go ahead and do the processing. A okay, crushing wheel and smelting automated. So what I was going to do was we were going to go up here and then we were going to design it. Oh, I need andesite. So maybe we can do processing over here like we have like the minor processing right here. So we can say like input item here, get items over here. And for this, probably using a barrel would be good. <clears throat> and so we can do this. Uh oh. That was weird. For this, we can just place down all of these. If we put this on a contraption, we could just pick it up and move them around. We should make a cart contraption. Right? 
right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can only see eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we missing one? Or missing one? Now we should have pages. Wait, what? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we not have multiple pages? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, does, does it only support eight? Okay. Oh, this one's empty. Wait, I thought we had nine of these done. I thought we did. You want to live here? There's your pet. Now your pet's going to be stuck here forever. Well, I know what I'm going to put in this, this container then. Uh-oh. What else can I put in here? Wheels. <clears throat> More wheels. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Um, I would put a hand crank in here if I had one. Blaze burners. Why not? Got room for two more things. Two more things, chat. Sequence gear shift. And one, two. No, we don't have room. That's it. I'm wrong. Evaporate. Drop oh, no. their cat and 500 bits exploded from it. <laughs> Meow. How's it going? How's it Hope you're better. I'm still sick. I Meow. You're feeling better. Bada, I'm bada still boom. sick. Thank you for the, the 500 bits. I am feel. I'm feeling... I'm mixed. I'm mixed on how I'm feeling right now. Because part of me, my throat's kind of sore feeling. But it's probably from just talking. And yammering on. But another part of me is kind of like... I could be worse. I could feel worse. I could always feel worse. That is for sure. Oh my god. And I'll feel better playing this game once we get our storage, which I want to do today. Don't know if I'll be able to. All right, now we should have another tab. And I need to set this on a contraption. That's something we'll do here in a second. Okay. Um, um, let's see.
What's the first? Well, this is a good storage solution that we have right here with the toolboxes. But uh, there's going to be more. Anything else? Dirt. Always dirt. Um, grass. Okay, so yeah, four stacks. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna put casings. And copper keys. Brass case. So what we need to do is we need to build a contraption uh, for placing this down. <laughs> Goodness. And that, that won't be too bad. That won't be too bad. Um, so yeah, now we should have more pages. Oh no. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. Full boxes. When a player is in range, the toolbox's range can be changed in the config. If multiple toolboxes is in range, the player can choose a snack matching items toolbox to return items to the interface. Dying architect, yeah, this is frustrating. Does it? I I swear. That you could have more. So no, we are actually limited to eight. Is that a config thing in this? What would this be? Logistics? Um... Gameplay settings? Infrastructure? Equipment? toolbox range nothing to do with like toolbox I swear there was mul able to be multiple pages of toolboxes all right what's the ones that really matter to me movement okay let's see if we can just build a contraption real quick item Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh no. Sorry, Coggers. I, s I almost Mario'd you. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. He almost got straight up Mario'd. Still sad they didn't deserve a proper create turntable. No, I didn't want to put them on a create turntable. All right, let's figure this out. I swear it's always dark in the game. I've, I'm losing my mind with the time in create. I usually, like in create above and beyond, I disabled time or not time. I disabled the day and night cycle because I was just so tired. Of like it always being night when I was recording. It was so frustrating. I wish you could access these like a chest. These are more like shulker boxes. Okay. So yeah, I guess we just have to have eight of them and that's what we call our ultimate setup, right? Okay, building blocks. The most important ones. This one. Um, this one. This one. One. Yeah, I'm still frustrated though that only eight work. I don't remember if I said it, but I added a mod. It's set the day length to an hour, the night to one minute. Oh my God. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we we'll just get the eight in here. Which one do we choose? Probably not the contraptions. Um, definitely, definitely like this one, maybe this one. So that should be it. The contraptions ones we'll keep in our keep in our bag. It is weird that that's the case. I I swear there was multiple pages where you could have more than eight, but I don't. I don't know. Whatever.
You could literally carry your entire inventory in a contraption, couldn't you? Yes. Yes, you could. Yep. Yoink. So anywhere I wanted to put this, I would just go... Oop. Right, just put it wherever I want. All right, so first things first, let's get our storage in place. We're going to have an input, and then this is going to be our output. And we're going to crush and wash. Crush and wash. <clears throat> so, what I can do is just go ahead and do the crushing. Let's actually go back. Let's go movement. And then we can have the crushing wheel right here, technically. And then we will send it into a storage. And then it will be washed right here. Yeah, the range is really low. 10 blocks? It should be a minimum of 16. Is this default settings? I don't even feel like... You said it's a 32. Client, yeah, it should be more. It should be at least 16. Why is it... Sixteen minimum. Okay. Um, movement. I'm gonna have to color these. That's something I definitely need to do. Right. Movement. Do some gearboxes. So we'll do a gearbox here. And here. And that actually works perfect because we'll power it from this side and also do everything else from this side, right? So that should go here. And this is where we're going to power it at the bottom. Um, let's see. So why do people use trains when contraptions can move more than one item type, but trains can only move one? Is it because tracks are cheaper? No. We can, no, we can put, I have two things running on trains. You can have multiple things running on trains. You just have to control your input. Um, okay, storage, we movement. I gotta get used to this building box. Is this gonna be the same every place? I wonder. Oh wait, actually no, we need um processing fan gonna be washing 
then RPM. Movement. Okay, and then that will connect up. I could do it from the center, I guess, to make it... It could be more compact, actually. Right, if we just uh, did it here. Gotta slip on in here. Boop. Boop. Power it from the vertical. Oh, that's so compact. So compact. Also, we'll get power from this. We need a gearbox this, though. Just gearbox it here. Nice. And then we'll put a shaft in there. That's going the correct way. Is it blowing the correct way? It is not. We'll just slap a vertical gearbox in here. Now it is. Uh, and we're going to need a bucket of water. You should not be allowed to watch others do create. Seeing you use two gearboxes under the fan always makes my soul hurt a little. But I don't, it doesn't matter. Here's the thing, like, does it matter that I'm not using chain drives? Because I wasted a little bit more wood. I, it doesn't matter. It's such a, like, there's so, yeah, it just doesn't matter. Like, I don't know why people get so bent out of shape over this. And people do. People do. Who cares? I, does it, does it cause more lag? I don't. I mean, I don't know. I do know that there is a convenience almost. The beautiful thing about create, yeah. You can play it however you want. Same with Minecraft, yeah. Well, the the cool, the, the interesting thing about placing down gearboxes is when you place these compared to chain drives, chain drives don't always go in the direction you want them to go. They're actually kind of frustrating. So then I have to place them down. Then I have to click them with the wrench. Whereas if I place down a gearbox, it's more likely to go in the exact place you place it. That's something to keep in mind. I swear, dark, it's dark again. But yes, in a pack, if there was a pack that it was expen it was more expensive, RP or uh, stress wise for me to use gearbox or you chain drives over gearboxes. I would make that determination then, but whenever there's no limitation, like in this pack, which I love, um, and it works great. Right. That was the, my big complaint about the, um, the create astral is that it, you had limits on your belts. Like it cost RPM to use belts or stress to use belts. And I was like, oh, that was so painful early game. Setups that you thought would work with a water wheel didn't anymore. You're still trying to figure out how to get chain drives to rotate, etc. properly. It's a pain. But this is really nice because... Um, this process doesn't have to be fast either. Let's go to burning RPM. And there we go. What else? I'm still getting used to using this toolbox. <clears throat> Item transfer. 
And then brass. Um, that's going to be washing stuff. And then the output. Also brass. Uh, I do need to make filters. That's the thing. We don't have like a filter chest. Ow. But this is really all I needed to process for right now. Okay, yeah, we need to... We'll set this up on a filter that will go... Um, do not allow it in if it can be washed. And can redstone be washed? Hopefully not. I'm trying to think, can gunpowder... Can't be washed, right? Can be washed. Deny list. If it can be washed, don't allow it in. And then we'll boop to extend this. So it's right here. Okay. Uh, actually, <clears throat> we could use a chest. Getting used to this is going to be a pain. Um, transfer, moving, movement, movement, move. Where's that? God, I got the. I got these colored. Storage. Yes. Um, item transfer. Okay, and then am I missing anything else? Any more brass tunnels, funnels. I feel like I'm gonna need way more brass. We're gonna, I'm gonna need to make a bunch more of these brass funnels. God, I love the funnels so much. Something satisfying about using funnels. All right, so now we have input and output because I usually put input from the left and output to the right. So let's go ahead and give this a shot.
Now I would feel better going mining. They just have a process now. So we can only do vanilla items because if we we can only send vanilla stuff through this because of the way that it currently works. We'll have to set up a filter for like smelting items. For copper and iron, this works just fine. Me smelted doesn't work. Um, yeah, so this is going to crush. I'm gonna crush the copper, the raw version. So it's turn it into experience nuggets and crushed iron. Crushed iron. There we go. That's gonna go there. Um, so that's gonna wait for it to wash. Gonna wash up all of that crushed raw copper. That's 64. I think the copper produces clay. So we should get a product. We should get clay. And then we, our experience should go through there because it can't be washed. So it just all goes through. So now we end up with all of our copper nuggets. Perfect. Definitely want to upgrade that to like a sophisticated storage barrel. Um, I need to get a crafting table. And we actually get a little bit of a bonus by doing it that way. This is like early processing. Let's just make getting this out of the way nice. Okay. Um, logs. And then we also get some experience. Oh, they don't have it in, in this version where you like tap quickly and it consumes all of them. You have to use a clicker. Barrel upgrades. Be able to at least make it into an iron version. The here redstone torch and iron basic to iron. Do we have iron to gold, iron to diamond, basic to iron? Okay, so we have to we have to start it with the lowest tier. Okay. Like it be automated into gold, by the way.
why would you want these? Wait, Architect's Palette is in here. I thought I couldn't find it earlier. Oh my god. I swear we searched for it. Yeah, you did. I remember someone mentioning chisel. Yeah. I searched for it. It's just like, what? Wait, no, no, we need a uh, basic. Um, what was it again? Was it just wood? The basic upgrade? Let me see this. So now, question. Ragnar. Oh God. Started up the helicopter at 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 at, 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 at to give chosen one thousand bitties. Thank you. <laughs> we'll have a good one, Crag. Thank you for the thousand bits. I appreciate that. Oh God. Oh, we're in for something, aren't we? By the time you come back, or if you're back, by the time we're done streaming today, hopefully the next uh, four hours or whatever. Hopefully we have some automation done because after this, we are working on automating the source gems. And so that should be an interesting process. But now that we have access to the create, being able to just pull items out, it's going to be a lot easier. It'll be a lot nicer. Thank you, by the way, for the thousand bits. Appreciate you. Doop. Boop. <laughs> They don't realize how much that hurts. It hurt me. Ow. <laughs> Alice! Unga bunga hooray. Unga bunga hooray. Wow. Thank you, my team, for the 300 bits. I'm pretty sure I remember there was a video game that I remember playing called Pistol Pete. That's what we figured out the name was. And it says Unga Bunga in the game. It was apparently it was like it was a game for Mac. Okay, so basic to iron. Basic to iron. Basic to gold. Basic to diamond. Okay. Okay. So we upgrade just to the tier, to basic. And then from there, we upgrade. <laughs> With a torch. So in this version, we have two upgrades, right? Looks like two upgrades. There we go. That looks good. Did you just ruthlessly, ruthlessly attack your viewers? Yes. 
What's the controller recipe for the uh, storage in the pack? It's normal. It's not too bad. Um, I just don't want to use it. I don't. We're we're right at like changing our up our Star Gemini thirteen. Dab causing one thousand bits to fall into chosen's hands. Hype train, so what are you doing? The hype train doesn't understand. We need AI hype trains. It's stat. They need to just currently watch the stream and realize when chat is actually hyping or not before going, hey, like what is the th when the train just go, goes nuts? There's like two things happen. All right, hype train. Evaporate. Drop oh their cat and 1000 bits exploded. Did I hear hype train? Meow. Did I hear hype train? Meow. Evaporate. Thank you. Bada. Oh, Bada God. Boom. What is going on? Star Jim and I, thank you so much for the thousand. Holy smokes. <laughs> no. They're like all stuck on the train tracks. I love though when this, this ends up happening. Uh, Dragons drive with the 400 bits as well. Thank you. Jeez. All the chaos happens. <laughs> oh no. It's all calm and peaceful. Oh, they got hit. They got hit. Oh, no coggers. All your skin is broken. Is it broken? That's not good. Is it, is your Twitch name the same as your, uh, your Minecraft name? Oh God. Coggers, get him. Oh, Coggers lost his sword. Where's your sword, bro? Where? How did he lose? How did he lose his sword? <laughs> no. Uh oh. Well, I think it hit one of them. It hit one of them. It is? Yeah, it is. Uh, for some reason, it shows the Alex skin and not your normal one. Interesting. God. Ah! This, along with our frame rate issues, has is making, is making this pack so hard. I'm going to have to look. I'm going to see if there's... I don't think there's any... I, maybe disabling Oculus, like I had said before, since we're not using the shaders. Maybe that would actually help. I don't know. Yeah, my my wife for some reason her her skin was not displaying properly, unfortunately. But she had just changed it. Maybe that was why. Thank you guys for the bits. The hypiest of hype trains. Oh my god. I've been putting off getting into the simple automation because this quest, all right? I don't know if it's just like it just meant it's meant to scare me. But I had to I had to just accept all of these. Positive affirmations. Totally not brainwashing. I am love. I accept this chapter seems simple. I embrace, although simple, this chapter needs a lot of infrastructure. I will be wealthy with source gems. I am a sane individual. I am not crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once. Don't be frustrated. I'm trying not to be frustrated. Yep. That was crazy once. They put me in a room. They did put me in a room. I love you guys. These kids are like the, the like perfect contrast of colors. I don't know why some stack and some don't. What's a snack I'll put in the chest? And then dragons is the uh, the Alex skin. I don't know why it defaults to that. I could probably assign a default skin to everything. Can we put the create wrench? 
in Cogger's mouth? No. Coggers, I need you to get on there. There's Cogger's sword. He's bleeping. <laughs> yes. Coggers is good. Coggers is amazing. I love Coggers. I'm glad that's I'm glad we seeked out for some Coggers cuz Coggers honestly will uh will help my sanity moving forward in the pack. I think everyone needs a Coggers in their life. Truly. Everyone needs a Coggers in their life. <clears throat> All right. Now that the hype train's over, let's start dabbling in this. So we're going to need two farms. Right, two farms. They're gonna they're gonna be over here. The two farms are. Okay, so how are we gonna manage this? This chapter should say, "Let's go find Coggers to help." It should. So we'll put. Source berries, let's just follow this line. Source berries on the left, Mage Bloom on the right. All right, and so we can have a farm. Two farms. This is the center. Don't really know. Close, close enough. Um This is the center of this. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we'll do one, two, three. <clears throat> four out. And these are going to be circle farms. One, two, three, four. 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 I'm not sure exactly how the layout works when you do it like this. Why is that glued? Whoa! These your warning? Oh. Residual. Okay, so if this is out by four, one, two, three, four, we could do one, two, two, three, like that. That's probably the size. But yep, we've got to get two farms built regardless, so. I'm actually going to raise them up. Hey, chat. So, do you have any spinning crop jokes? That's like the dumbest thing to think of. Hmm, what are some jokes related to spinning crop? Yo, my chicken's still alive. Yep. You spin cotton, it's all I spin. Yeah. I may be asking for trouble. 
asking about spinning crop jokes. What am I doing? Favorite pickup line is, hey, baby, are you spinning crops? <laughs> what the what? <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> are you guys immediately running to chat GPT and asking it like, hey, what's a, a good? I'm sure. I'm sure. Why do I even ask? I know that's the case. Yes. Some okay, so I feel like ChatGPT has not been trained on a lot of humor. It, it's kind of humorous sometimes, but like it has all it doesn't it still doesn't like know fully. At least ChatGPT 3 doesn't. I'm sure the the higher the more advanced one does, but it's still iffy. It doesn't fully understand what puns are. You could trick ChatGPT into teaching you how to make napalm. That's so weird. By the way, it's supposed to snow today. I'm pretty excited about that. It's supposed to snow. And so I just want to see snowflakes flying outside. Even if it doesn't stick, I don't really care. I just want to see... I just want to see the snowflakes falling. It's been so warm. I don't... It's been pretty bad here. It was 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It was 60 degrees Fahrenheit the other day, uh, during Christmas, like during Christmas day, it was 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I just lost my wrench. What's going on with me today? This is where I think having, having a teammate would be really helpful in a pack like this. Cause like you guys would both be on the same page and like, yeah, be nice. <clears throat> I lose track all the time. I think I can still... No, I can't access the blog's contraption. Good, they all stay in the same spot. <clears throat> Item transfer... Uh, movement. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send this down a belt line. Um... A single belt? What's that in Celsius? See, well, it it's like it was near room temperature, what we all call room temperature, like seventy two degrees Fahrenheit. It's a good way to kind of put perspective on temperature. It was it was almost like the same temperature what most people keep their homes, and it's Christmas, and it's not normal here. Hi, Mr. Architect. Welcome.
So it was it was warm. It was warm on Christmas. The whole week was warm. It's still well, it's cold now, but it was warm then. Yeah, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is freezing. It's like where water will freeze. We'll put water here. Oh, I forget that feature exists. I can middle click to block pick and it will pull it from the storage here. If it's not in my inventory? No. Maybe? It, it's not doing it. Yes, it does. It just doesn't do it with the belts. Ooh, that's cool. It's actually kind of nifty. All right, how am I par powering these farms? Probably with just a windmill bearing. What'd you miss? Uh, well, not too much just yet. We're getting our farms set up. We'll just use two of the smallest windmills you can make for this particular setup. Um, and then I'm going to need four per one, two, four. Okay. Technically, I'll need eight. All right, so there's all of that. Um, I also need a hoe, AKA your mom. We all know where she's at. All right, no, all right, let's find, where is my hoe? There's a couple of them. There it is. It's like the worst mama joke ever. I don't know if you guys remember, but there used to be an MTV. I think it was on MTV. They literally just did mama jokes. Like there was a, uh, there was like an entire show around people doing your mama jokes. Like for really. Oh, how times have changed. MTV feels like a fever dream sometimes. You remember your old too? Hey, hey, I wasn't calling nobody old. Don't, don't do that. MTV was great. Um, all right. I mean, that was like, for me as a kid, that was really all we had was like, whatever was on cable television. I was telling my daughter that the other night because she... She got upset. She got upset, right? We sent her to bed, told her to go to bed, and uh, she was upset because she couldn't watch TV. And she, she went on to say, every night is bad. And I said, why is every night bad? And she says, because you don't let me watch TV. And I had to explain to her, I said, when I was your age, I said, I was lucky if I had a nightlight, let alone a TV in my bedroom at the age of six. Right? So... 
I was like, what, what is your deal? You know, I was like, I, I sat down and explained her. I was like, we didn't have YouTube. Like, it wasn't a thing. We watched whatever was on cable TV, and the only TV was in the living room. Yeah. I told her, and if I had, if I wanted to change the channel, I had to walk five miles uphill in the snow. No, I didn't tell her that. But it still is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, no, it's... It was, it was interesting when she said that. It was interesting. I told her they don't, they don't understand. Unfortunately, I, I know with them being so young, how privileged they are to have the things that they have. It's kind of a totally different world. Oh yeah, okay. I had a massive box of TV. I had my first TV I remember getting was when the PlayStation 1 was like several years old and the PlayStation 2 had just come out. Uh, it was a nine inch, a nine inch, like Sony little box TV. Nine inches. I played, I played the PlayStation, played some Spyro on a nine inch TV. And I thought it was amazing. That was amazing. Sitting on the floor. On the floor. PlayStation on the floor. Plugged in. Ready to go. It may have been nine inches, but that thing weighed like 50 pounds. Like the, the, the television did. 50 pounds. Minimum. Mm -mm. So with the windmill bearing, we don't... Uh... We still need a like a mechanical bearing. Pretty sure. You didn't need a heater, just a TV to warm the room up. It's still that way. TVs are put out a lot of heat. But any light source is going to put out a lot of heat. I guess I could have put the water right here. Yeah, why did I not do that? What, did I, what am I doing? This is when my brain does not always think logically. Okay. Um... Oh, we need lily pads. What am I doing then? This is for lily pads.
Yeah, I wish I could explain. Man, if only there was a way to put them on like a virtual reality. Like if there was like a simulator that simulated the 90s for my kids. Only the good parts of the 90s. There's some parts of the 90s we don't want them to simulate, but the good parts of the 90s anyways. I, mean, I should set them through all 90s commercials. And then they would finally understand. I think they would finally understand why you respect the pouch. All right. They would understand why you respect the pouch. Alright, we're putting these always going clockwise. That was a decision I made early on was to make sure that these were always spinning clockwise. Why will that not attach? Oh, we can't have this attached to an interface? I guess that's fine. We can just extend it out maybe. Oh god, I love this song. Was I a bee and just immediately flew off in this space? Probably. Did the bees just have a, a mind of their own? I need to learn this song on piano. Okay, um, now how am I going to situate the wind, the bearing? I guess the bearing just needs to be facing down? Because we can, can't we turn this whole contraption into a bearing? Or a windmill? Yeah, I think we can. Like this. And so long as there's one sail. Is CCI not working? It looks like it is. I think a bee spawned on me. you a dm of the 90s vr game oh is it yeah but if it's not like something that i can just hook into uh like the quest for example it'll be hard for me to show it hope oh, one of these days which it's planned for this year i don't know if it's going to happen this year i'm still it's in the works but i want to get the game room set up and then we'll have access to stuff like that a little easier. I want it to go clockwise. I put these on the wrong way, didn't I? Wait, what? That's cl That's
That's not clockwise. That's counterclockwise. Okay, so it's because of its direction it's facing? From the bottom. Oh, it's probably, yeah, it probably changes the rotation. That makes sense. I have to have it on here too. There's that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, why? I whoopsie doopsie. I think I messed up. Is this one also in the ground? No. There we go. Now we can get this rehoed and everything else. A decent speed for a farm like a crop thing that's perfect <clears throat> okay keep holding that button um movement so the thing with this is i technically want two belt lines gonna lead through here so now the belt logistics are about to take place get started um Actually, uh, yeah, we'll have these. I need the lines to run through here, so I think I'll have a line that runs like this up into the, this belt. And then we'll have our other line runs through here. And it is going to go here and run this way. And it will run into this belt. Inventory needed on the contraptions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to do that. Thank you, Tech. Sorry, I get, I get like hyper-focused when I'm working on something like this. Really lose what I'm even doing. Okay. And those will run into there for our automation. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll fix our contraptions. Put everything away. Get our storages hooked onto it. 
Great. Also said you need lily pads in the farm. Yeah, we, we have lily pads back at the base. Those I can place down after. Like we don't have to worry about them right now. Good work. I think they'll, this will stop wherever it's currently at. I wonder if there's a way that we could set up an actual clock that keeps real time. I, mean, I know there's a clockwork bearing, like the one that's supposed to do that. I wonder how that one works. I'm not familiar with it. What are you saying? Let's see. Will those item interfaces be that close to anything weird? Go then. Oh, I do know what we do. We need to set up though, actually. Woo. Oh, the, we're going to need to set up some void upgrades. Uh, JB Anger. Anchor. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Woo, with the five months. Appreciate you, my dude. Will the farms interact with each other? They shouldn't with him spinning like they are right now, but they will only interface if one side was pulling with the other. Yeah. They would only interact if like one was sending or pulling. They might kiss, but aside from that, they're not going to do anything. Just like right here, this will run past it, but because there's no nothing pulling from it. Right? There's nothing pulling from it, so... I'll just do that. Pugman 5000! 21 months to two years. 21 months. That is such a long time. Three more months. Just curious. Never actually texted. Yeah. I, that's a, That was a good point to bring up. L logically, like it, my, my brain thinks of it that way. Like I would have been concerned. I was concerned whenever you said it. But then the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. We must still be on hype train cooldown. Oh, 100%. So, um, now that I think about this, um, we need a buffer. And we'll probably do that here. Do storage. Um, actually, I wish I could pick them up differently. No, we're actually gonna put them over here, I think. And it keeps Four. going. How are you today? You smile. Climb up. 
Thank you so much. Appreciate that. 13 mighty months. And it just keeps going. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing well. Nothing like the orange. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love it. We got so many eggs. Yeah, I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this. I guess I could... Put them, like, here? Yeah, I'll put them here. And then I'll set up the inventories for item transfer. Like that. That should work. Should work anyways. Um, all right. So, uh, our two farms are going to be source berries on the left, mage blooms on the right. Hopefully we've gathered enough of those materials. I don't know if we have. And I think source berries can be planted on tilled farmland. Pretty sure they can. Mage bloom seeds were limited by they don't like reproduce in the in the farms. I think that's it for our mage bloom. So when this is so are we we're gonna need um double barrels, aren't we? For for Mage Bloom. Then if that's the case, we'll find out. We'll I'm sure we'll find out real quick. Those barriers can go down. I don't know if Mage Blooms can produce seeds. Hopefully not. I hope not. I have a stack of Mage Bloom. Okay, good. I didn't see it. It didn't show that I had one. Maybe it was at the other. Oh, I got one there. Two stacks of Mage Bloom. Heck yeah, shit. They don't as far as you know. Yeah, as far as I know too, I was like, I thought they're only craft. So hopefully we can get away with that. It's less inventory management we have to do. I not even need these many, this many here. Four of these is a lot. That's uh, going to grow the crops pretty fast. I know we can put we can put these underneath, but I'm yeah, it's already harvesting them.
You're left one if you collect them manually. I don't know about create. Source berries only produce source berries, so. Dogs are insane. Okay. We'll set a filter. Don't think it matters, but so this one's going to be source berries and this one will be mage. Hey, so now we have access to them if we wanted to pull them out. Um, we need void upgrades. So in our storage void upgrade, I only have one. I know berries definitely need it first. Let's make some more. Do they create acts as a right click harvest? Yeah, it does. Um, okay. Back to what I was doing. So we need to send it out. We need void upgrades. I continue. They're so necessary for farms. Especially if you're making like infinitely running farms. These are so necessary. Okay. So Starbuckle will for right now, I guess. Uh, we have one, I think, in our rolling section. To get the items moving and get your boxes. That's going to transfer. Um, and then we need, yeah. Isn't it crazy you like end up memorizing like where, like how certain things move? That is weird, I think. Right now, sometimes that don't want to work. I don't want these on. Hey, I just want it to send them through. Perfect. Um, now these could synchronize, but then I'm not worried about that. All right, so that should be the source automation, source berries. Okay, so that leads into us juicing them. So that goes into this. Okay. So I think at this point, this is where we need to start working our way. Maybe backwards or... Why not just use a second shaft instead of a gearbox?
I never noticed that those were like that. What do you mean a second shaft is from a gearbox? Oh, yeah, you're talking about right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I'm like bending down trying to look as if that's going to help me. I'm like, if I, could just, if I could just look right down there just a little bit, that'd help out, wouldn't it? So goofy. All right, let's uh, let's see. Added the shrinking device, dude. The shrinking device, I love. It needs to be in here. Even though you need power for it. Okay. So this should be pretty constant. Hopefully, that's enough. I don't know how many presses we have. Just two. So this process, we take and make this. That So two of these are going to be stamped. They're going to be squeezed down. Okay, no heating. Produces Mage Bloom Juice. Okay. The Mage Bloom Juice then needs to be combined together inside of a mixer. We're going to need several basins. The shrinking device triggers my motion sickness, but it's worth it. Weird. That's an interesting, interesting, but it messes with your motion sickness. Um, okay. So this, this whole process of making the source berry smoothie is pretty simple. It's the next part, right? Um, where we have to put it into a bowl and we want to put it into a bowl and not a bucket, right? Now the bowl, doesn't the bowl get reused? So the bowl then makes the impure when it's drained. And then you have a bowl of leaves. Which the bowl of leaves should be tossed off the side. And then the bowl of leaves then get washed and we get our bowl back. Also, we have a chance of getting these leaves. So that's how we get our bowl back. And then the leaves just need to be cut with a knife. Get fiber. Then the fiber will go into a crafter and will produce spell parchments. Spell parchments will then be added back into our system. So, okay. So let's go ahead and get our pure setup going, which will just have this go straight into um, some stampers. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, I think. And we already have the two stampers. And there's no heating required. Yep, yep, yep. And we're going to just run the line back here for right now. probably get in the way, but oh well. All right. Uh, we're also going to need movement. Yeah. So we'll start right here with our shafts. Actually, no, these two just need to be piped into each other. So this is just all pipes. We can just use this right now.
right? And then we're just going to want to pipe this straight in here. Oh, we're going to need a filter too, aren't we? And then that needs to feed into pipes. There we go. That's pretty straightforward. There we go. And then uh, we can go ahead and get the processing. These are just stamps. Oops. Oop. And then this is a mix. Oop. Hey, that makes uh, this step. Then we need to squirt this. This product, Mage Plume Fairy Juice. Makes this so much easier. Oh, it's so easy to set this up now that we have access to like our pipes and stuff. Look how convenient this is. And then once we have these stuff down, we can just middle mouse to block pick. Oh, it's so Okay, this uh, just needs to pump into. One of these on a belt line. So we're going to have to receive bowls from somewhere and it's probably going to be from underneath here. So we'll just have this send straight up onto a belt line. this yep. what are you using to quick swap blocks like that this like middle mouse middle mouse click is your block pick in, in Minecraft and it, it pulls from our uh, our boxes from create our toolboxes. So this is from create. You might need to add a buffer. Oh, we could go about it like this actually. What do you mean? Add a buffer might need to add a buffer for the mix. For making this. Yeah, I know we can use a spout. We could just, yeah, we could just, we could use a tank. That could work. I mean, use, you're asking about the block picker. Uh, block picking is your middle mouse button and I'm using toolboxes from create. And then this menu, you hold left alt to access it. Star Gemini 13 just gave out five subs. Star Gemini! Wait! Thank you for the five gift subs. What the heck? None of them had skins. None of them were Minecraft folk. 
Well, they probably are Minecraft folk, but they none of them have skins. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh boy. We're gonna take a break here in just a moment. So I can go hit the hit the potty. Hit the hit the toilet. Or the, the backyard, whatever you want to call it. Back forty. Again, I strive for chaos, oh god. Chaos, it is. Utter chaos. Oh no, when I have my axe on my hand. I'm also going to have to get some more water. I am out of water. So far, so good though on this process. Uh, this is pretty cool. Pretty fun. Uh, the only thing, and it does help. I'm not going as many times back and forth trying to solve problems. So... Gunzerker! Thank you for the tier one. Well, I think it was worth the time that we invested in that. Welcome to the crew, by the way. A uh, fresh meat tier one right up in the in the house. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. I'm trying to think here. Faucet. I wanted to set up one of these. Keep these in my other bag, I guess. Along with my levers. I think I have all my levers in here. Yeah. Okay. It's crazy we're still powering everything off of our water wheels. And we still haven't used but maybe 25%, 26% of our total SU capacity. I do have a skin though. I don't know why it doesn't show. Interesting. Does it, is your username exactly the same? Like that's the thing, like your Twitch username needs to be exactly the same as your Minecraft username. Also, um, there may be an issue with whether or not it's an Alex versus a Steve, normal Steve skin. I don't know. No, that's great. They should all, I don't know. Is this an expert mode create centered mod pack? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Some jerk took your Minecraft name. Although <laughs> that's awful. Yikes. Okay. But I do lose out here on, I guess I'll have to send to it. I think I was going to send to it from the bottom anyways, down here. Okay. Now I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be right back chat. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more automation until we get these source gems done. This should still be rocking and rolling, right? 800. Look at those 800 runes. Looking good. This is still broken. For some reason, we're still not generating. Hopefully our redstone's not broken again. We are still limited on redstone. I hate that. Why is our redstone not working? receiving redstone that's got 11 1 64 
makes me think that we simply are not generating redstone. Oh. Got ignored? What do you mean got ignored? Hey bro, which home mod did you use for Chosen's Mod Adventure? FTB? FTB uh, Essentials? But also welcome to the chat. I did, I'm not intentionally trying to ignore you. That's not how it works, by the way. As you know. Um, what why is this not producing? What is on what is in here now? Do these not have I swear I put Oh no. Oh no. She was really nice. They put void upgrades in there. Oh. These are really nice, by the way. That's why I wanted them, but still. You said you would, but never put them in. Oh, fuck. That's what I get for not having Obsidian automated yet. I think it's hyper focused. Don't worry too much about it. He'll get to us eventually. I'm sorry, Jet. I'm sorry. I need an overlay in my game that overlays chat on the screen for me. Like not for you to see, but like for for me to see. Like, yeah, I see this in chat, but that's for subs only. So I don't see everything there. And not all I don't always see it in chat either. I'm sure there's a thing that exists. They put it in here for that. Ooh. I think we have enough for a beacon. Air hey, redstone should be kicking back off. Okay. I gotta get out of here. I wish I had this set up where this was no longer gaining. I don't know exactly what my issue is with this. But I'm sure it's something I can figure out later on. Super easy to set up. Maybe one of these days I'll get it set up. Hello, train. Oh, no. APG the wolf, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the groove for the first time. And you almost fell to your death. Welcome in with the prime. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I wanted to look at something. I know I need to go to the... I need to take a bathroom break. But... Put these in here. I want to use these as building blocks in our base. The flint is going to look so good. Um, I'm, Can I still make sourceberry food or is it like... I don't... I don't know. I 
It can still be used to make purple dye. And yes, we can still make source rolls with it. Good. Good, good, good. And then we can make source pie later on. Okay. Even better. Good, good, good. Okay. I was wondering if I was going to get access to any better food anytime soon. All right. Thank you, by the way, for the new sub. I appreciate that. I'm taking a quick break and I will be right back. I promise. Don't go anywhere. I, I'll know if you're gone. I'll know it. Go to the screen. Party, don't I, group. Oh, I just took your shulker box. Oh, my God. That was so dramatic. <laughs> just slowly wandered over here. Uh, let me create a party. Let's didn't, go. Didn't you and H-Bomb try this? Oh, yeah. For some reason, like, we just couldn't speak to each other. We had to go in Discord. Yeah, I don't yeah, know no. what was going on. Oh, that's It weird. was like pain. All right. I created a group. Whoops. We'll fix it. We'll fix it, chat. We got this. I needed obsidian anyways. While we have backup lava. Same page and like, yeah, be nice. <clears throat> I lose track all the time. I guess still no I can't explode well, crap. Please give me a good artifact. Give me running shoes. What? Yes! <laughs> yes! Give me running shoes! <laughs> oh man, I gotta replace my kitten slippers for these though. These would be so good around the base, not for caving, but for around the base. It's a few Just more. Just a few more sussies for you. <laughs> no, not those. Not those. Where did you come from? I just popped off the roof. Guys. It has been Yeah, I'm gonna go with the more damage All in all that's pretty sick Um God, that's epic. That's epic, bro. Yes, let's go. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, man. How did people survive that fall? I don't know. Maybe they like land on. I don't know. <laughs> Not anywhere there's ever going to be machines. Okay. That's right. The player heads on the armor stands. Oh, yeah. We could put, we could put anything on the armor stands. Uh, and there's two per armor stand, so.
Is this it? I called that sand. That was totally gravel. Oh my God, it's violet. Yes, we found it. My brain, man. Oh no. So out of context. <laughs> 350 for 10% and they doubled and added an extra 700, making it. They doubled it? Oh God, but I've got to figure this out. I got to figure this out, Chant. This is now a puzzle, a puzzle solving simulator. Can I use gantries? Evaporate. Drop their oh cat and 1000 bits exploded Come from 45 it. Bits. Meow. Don't worry. My Meow. prison with a thousand bits. Meow. Bada. Oh, Bada I need to get them away from my farm. Back over here. Back over here. Here we go. Oh, hey. Whoa. Oh my God, there's so many down there. on my dead body oh no oh no up the compass and is it is it gonna be a good idea for us to like find a slime chunk as well to put this in we probably don't have iron and redstone Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think it'd be. The trap room is horrifying. Oh God, how did I avoid getting hit by that stupid spider? All right, I'm back chat. Was that a clip <laughs> of me just randomly saying the trap room was horrifying and it was that was it? <laughs> what? What was that about? How do we go up in viewers when I'm away? I, I don't. No, I'm just here for the music. I'm just here for the music. The good music. Mother of God. I swear that's how it feels. Apparently the trap room was horrifying. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Some clips are very random, yes. The thing is, those are the most viewed clips, which is very weird as well. Oh, we, we should have filters. Um, I should be keeping filters in my inventory. I'm hoping that you get brass filters from the other ones. I think we have a chest full of filters, right? <clears throat> One of these chests has a ton of filters. Yeah, they're there. So the good part... That won't be the last time that happens. The cookers get back on there. It's a hit and run, yeah. They didn't even say sorry. Nothing. What we should be able to do is. So, for example, inside of our filters here, we can predefine our filters. Um, so, kind of nice they give us these so we can just easily do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey! Hi. <laughs> um, and Riva, thank you so much for the 30 months. Thirty months. 
Holy smokes. Hey, Joseph, have you tried to save source in an AU2 system? Yes. Yep, yep, yep. I have played with the mod. Applied Energistic, or Applied... What is it called? Ars Energistics. Yes. <clears throat> in Riva, by the way, again. Sorry. Uh, 31 months on a 30-month streak. It says hi. Hi. Goodness. Welcome back. Yeah, so what I was saying is um, we can set these filters, right? So if we have the liquid here, we can assign the fluid, right? Oh, we, oh yeah, this is the version we can't drag from there. Um, we have to pull from here, right? Source berry juice. And then this is the allow list. That's for source berry juice. And we can go ahead and slot the filter in here. That should work. So that's kind of powerful, right? When you need to do direct filtering before you have the item filterable. Mage. Mage bloom juice. Heck, what in the world? You got a jar of dirt? Oh, yeah? Jars? Tons of jars, right? How do you take out of the source generators? Jars. Are you talking about for Ars Nouveau? How do you take out of the jars? And, like, send it... You need to use uh, an importer. Yeah, an importer on fluid mode, I believe. Or there may be a specific importer for source. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Okay, and then we need Mage Bloom Source Smoothie. Mage Bloom Source Smoothie. So this is, this is a whole Mage Bloom Source Smoothie. Pretty straightforward. All right, so back to where we're at. <clears throat> so this is our Mage Bloom source smoothie, and we need to, let's get, can we get an item frame? We need to know that we, we're putting a bowl here. And that bowl is going to fill up. So we'll, we'll end up pulling the wood from there. So let's go ahead and get the, the bowl is automated. So we just need one bowl and then we'll, or two bowls or whatever, and then we'll wrap the bowls around. So let, so let's think of it as we don't actually need that input. We'll just simply send it here from something like, uh, some other, some other source. The buckets will be renewable. So. On to the next stage. So with that, this is where we're going to have to split this down two lanes. Two lanes. <laughs> Goodness. Goodness, got the cost, man. <laughs> Kind of sucks because of the coughing. I hate, it's almost like bronchitis. It sucks when you get like fluid in your lungs. Okay. So yeah, this goes here, but it, it goes on to talk about this. Okay, yeah, because I'm missing this whole point. It, I wish it put this all down the same line because we would send this. Th it should have this right here, then go to this, and then this branch off of this instead of the way it's doing right now. The quests are a little confusing sometimes, right? 
Yeah, so we need the... We need the Mage Bloom to go onto this. So we got to do this operation. Okay. So it fills up. Gunzerker 58 just oh gave out one subs. Gunzerker, thank you, by the way, for the gift sub. To Eric the Red. Thank you for gifting that sub. Uh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and pronounce your name. Call, call Surim. Call Surim. Thank you for the prime as well. Welcome to the crew. Appreciate that, my dude. Um, you need the bowls to right at this step. Uh, well, the bowls are renewable. We just need like one or two bowls. They'll, they'll auto renew themselves. Like forever, forever fast it is, is how many bowls we're going to need. We'll see where the bottleneck resides. But yeah. Thank you, by the way. Welcome with the, the fresh meat. New sub, Aruno. Welcome in with that prime. Thank you. So yeah, it loops. Yep, yep. We'll loop buckets. Um, okay. So, fluids. We need this thing. Now, what's weird about the item drain, right, is it's going to go in the way that the item went on, and then it'll flop off. It's weird. But we need to send it to this to drain it. And then we need to get the fluid out of it. Which I think we have to do from the bottom. Oh, no, we can pull from the sides. Okay, good. In which we will do. We'll pull from the side. Yeah, notice how it flops the, the item off. So it's going to throw the, the ingredient that it's going to get from this off of this line. Which is actually perfect. Like this. So it'll go here, land on this. And then we'll use... Our pipe to pipe this to wherever it needs to go next. Um, so this will be in pure source. And then we need to send this wherever we make our parchment. And this will lead into another mixer with the parchment. So let's go ahead and do the automation of the parchment before we do this. So the bowl is going to go here. And we can set this up to be another belt line. But the belt line we probably want going in this direction. Um, okay. So we want it to go and to land on this belt. And then that it's going to go through the process of just being washed. Seems pretty straightforward. <clears throat> and then the washing is going to give us a bowl. And it's going to have a chance of also giving us the bloom. So wouldn't it be good to maybe do a... <clears throat> Do we call your Mario with all... Do we call you Mario with all the pipes you're playing with? Oh, God. Sure. <laughs> New Metacraft. Okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking about this in my head. It's... I mean, it's a lot simpler than... I'm probably making this out to be. So the item is going to go here. We need to just simply wash it. Um, giving ourselves some space to wash it would be nice. Then I just need to wrap it back. Probably do the washing. Oh. Yeah, let's assume that we have... <clears throat> yeah, oh, okay, so uh, this is going to go out. So we have here, I'm going to assume that this is a pipe here or something storing this. So we need to go out to here. Um, 
right here. Then we'll have our inventory that it needs to go into to be processed. Once it's processed. And then we'll have the bowl get sent out this way with a filter. This gets sent out this way. And that can loop it back. You can place the washer under the belt, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um... I, I might not want to do that. It might be faster for me to just have a fan... That is... Processing. Let's do a fan. Processing fan. I'm out of fans. I'm out of fans. It might be better for us to have it blowing across the whole belt. We'll, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent certain on that. We need iron. with the five stream streak welcome in a two drawer chest honestly we'll just do a any any chest doesn't matter i'll probably just use a barrel because the barrel's gonna be the simplest why do i have gold in here um I just need brass funnels, which we will have. And then we'll need another brass. Well, I could just filter the product. You can just filter the product. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And not do a thing like, can it be washed? Um, all right, what else was I needing? So I have that. I think we're good. So I went in uh, one of those abandoned create factories as pack ads. Didn't expect the explosives. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. You know, just get wrecked. Should have watched. Should have watched more of my streams. No, I I knew it already that there was traps in there from when I had played prior, and I think the best way is to just simply um, in those in those buildings to just to uh, claim the area so it doesn't blow up. <laughs> kind of cheesy to do it, but yeah. Are you able to pick up the TNT? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can pick up. Well, if you don't look at the uh, the thing, you can pick up the TNT that's behind it. Yep. I just like claim the area and then just look at them and sand away. Which does work. Okay, that'll send the bowl right back. And then we'll have a 
barrel. So the idea is that we wash this. Um, oh, I was that was why I went over here. I was like, why did I go over here? Oh, yeah, we, we needed to make up. We need to make a fan. We need to make a bunch of fan blades. AKA propellers. Flop, 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 flop. Those things. Flawfuls. So like a lava and a fan is like a free trash can. I know it is in the newer versions and like the 120 version. In this, I don't think so. Unless it's laying on the ground. If it's on a belt, I don't think it destroys it. If it's on the ground, I think it does. But at that point, you might as well just toss it in lava. Yeah, there's a lot of weird interactions that I've noticed. It's not made like discreet. It's not made like clear, immediately clear. Okay. Um. By the way, you can ignore this being in the way. That'll get moved. Probably move it right now. Let's get brass. We need one here. Technically here and here. Yep. Um, and I'm going to need some wood. your mess up benefited no one so lava and fan yeah yeah i set it up wrong last night and came back to partially wait partially stuffed belt the inner where you fan it yeah i don't remember i don't know if it like the, 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 don't hold me to it i haven't tested it yet if like it will destroy items on belts if they sat there long enough, but I know a 120, I did notice it on the ground in all the mods nine. It did, it did delete the items, the blasting. If something's even cooked there too long, it will delete them. Like, yeah. But that, but that was processing on the floor. So I don't know if that matters. I've already forgotten what I was grabbing. I came over here to get something. Why am I like this? What is wrong with my brain? <laughs> what were we after, chap? Effort wood. Uh. Oh yeah, I was making bowls. I'm such a goofball. Music's eerie. So we'll set a bowl to our filter here. Um, and then right here will be that other material that we're going to use a fan for. Can't do that, actually. Um... Yeah, 
Okay, I'm just going to do the version that's underneath. And I know you guys want me to use a chain drive here. Let's go ahead and get these items flowing into this. Oh, I'm out of... Oh. I'm out of funnels, apparently. Mixers and presses need rotation. I'm not turning it on just yet. I mean, I could. Well, I kind of need to actually. At least turn it on. They have it running. Yeah. Uh, do 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 do. All right, time for gearboxes. Um, we could just power this. Funnels, eh? That's no funnel. God. Jeez, crimson. Or not crimson. There's somebody. Goodness. London. Did I, did I say that right? Crimno London. Crimmy. Crimmy no London. Loden. Ch I gotta. I gotta think for a minute. My brain is kind of just done. got to bear with me. So like a funnel. So you're saying no fun NL. Oh my God. What's wrong with you chat? How are we going to do this? Gears that run down the middle. Now up here make this pretty easier for herself. We can have a vertical gearbox. Oh yeah, that's right. That ain't gonna work. Um, hmm. Also, I'm, I don't know why I'm thinking about this. I guess if we get it all set up, they'll all power each other. That's my source of power right now, and that's not going to work. I will need to attach to this power in some form, so. So, yeah, what I'll do is I'll just extend this out. Criminal Odin? Is that what it's supposed to be?
Don't blame me for the capital letter placement. I, is it Loden? Crimino Loden. Crimino. My brain, man. You gotta, you gotta forgive me. I'm not. It's hard for me to read uh, these. A lot of usernames. And I am going to 100% blame it on me being dyslexic. So, is what it is, I guess. I'll live with that. Okay, that'll be a gearbox that goes up there. And then down here, we will have a, actually, right connected to this. We'll do a gearbox, a vertical gearbox. And then, coggies. Then a shaft. Um, now to get that powered, we will probably go off of this gear box. Actually, uh, no, that won't work either. There's a hotkey to automatically pull this into your inventory. We'll put a vertical gearbox here. And then cog to that. Okay. What in the world of Swedish meatballs? Delicious. It's great. Can you make different color toolboxes? Yes. And they do work in there. They will display different colors. Do cogs have the have to go the same way to twist? What do you mean? Cogs have to go the same way. Cogs reverse each other's rotation, just like real life cogs do. It's like this cog is spinning clockwise, which when I add another one causes it to spin counterclockwise, which means this one is now spinning clockwise. And if this one is spinning counterclockwise on the other side, it is now spinning clockwise. Right, so these two are technically spinning in the same direction now. Opposite of the direction of this one, if that's what you're wondering about. I bet if I go ahead and put the other gearbox here, it's gonna freeze up. Not gonna put it in just yet. Okay, so that's running. Uh, can I get some power over here, please? Thank you. All right. Yep, that's going to be wrong. Okay. Fine. We'll put a vertical gearbox. Do a vertical gearbox here? No, no. A regular gearbox actually here. That might be actually perfect. Might actually be perfect. Oh, come on. What are we stressing on? Oh, because of this. Yeah. 
Okay, that causes that to spin the opposite way, which is not what I need. This needs to be, but wait, was that spinning the right way? This might be a better case where we we just extend this out. Times is better that way. We can't extend out here technically. I guess we could. It's gonna break everything, isn't it? Oh no. God, I hate this. It's impossible to play with create without understanding how gear ratios work. Not really. You don't need to understand fully how they work. Sending to that, which is going to send into this, which is going to float into this. And then we just need a gearbox to flip this. And then we just need chain drives to st extend that. And then just a simple cog will suffice for that. Yes, I know we're frozen. Okay. So um, with that in mind, I guess I could go ahead and extend some power directly into this. That'll work. Well, let's unhook this. And hope this is spinning the right way. It's not. It's not spinning the right way. And there we go. So now we have the stress to hook everything up. Gonna put that away. Hog will. That's gonna be powered. And then we need to figure out where we're sending this because it's gonna need to be piped over to this belt line. Okay. Um so we've we've somewhat got this done. Like uh let's go ahead and I guess turn this on with the press, and then that should automatically start processing everything. Okay, so fluid will go in here. That's going to get mixed. And then this tank should start building up. There we go. We have source berry smoothie, and then that's going to go in here. Okay, so that's working. Um, as far as the fan goes, we've we got to make sure the fan's going in the right direction. It is good. That is nice. Use chain drives. Oh, God. Danger spells right here. There's water for washing. 
Um, actually, I'm going to take this off for right now. Let's get two bowls. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that washed it. Oh, wait, wait. That drains it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Putting a block on this doesn't stop the items, does it? No. I just needed to sit here and wash. Oh, I guess I could just extend this. And put like a bone in the filter. need to like speed wash this we're gonna have to speed we're going to have to speed up the washing in some way. Um, maybe another fan right here. I think, I think like having more than one fan would be a good idea. Let's go fan. Yeah, you, you can't, speeding up the fan doesn't make it process faster, unfortunately. It's more than one fan you need, unfortunately, which is kind of a pain. Sometimes um, my brain stops when playing Create. Cope Cop. Cope Cop. Thank you so much, my dude. For the three months. Same. That's what this stream's all about, though. It's about just chilling, letting your brain just freaking turn off and try and understand Create more. I think if, we, if I just pump the brakes sometimes, it really does kind of, I don't know. It makes things work better. If I like go to think about this too much, it just causes me pain. So it's been a lot nicer just kind of chilling. I wonder if this is going to work. Oh yeah, where am I getting this stress from? Uh, here? A flip rotation. Is that fine though? Okay, so this one's sending. We need it to... I need this to not be rotated. I'll just do a chain drive. Okay, now the bottom's pulling, so I can just put a gearbox down there. I think, hold on, can chain, chain drives can do this. They can change direction. But not like at an angle. Like you can't like do that. The gearbox here. Sometimes it's just about. It's not about like what's the best possible way. It's just whatever is the most efficient for you at the time. Honestly, how it feels right now. All right, so uh, get that, that, that. We'll get some water in there. I 
love watching you problem solve. It's helped you through some uh, some head scratchers. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's because there may be ways that I solve the problem that you're like, oh, I never thought of it like that, I, or I didn't know that that mechanic was even a thing. Because there are a lot of wacky mechanics stuck in this freaking brain of mine of how to go about doing things. Okay, so that's even more water. And that works, right? Oh, you know what? Does that work, though? Is that faster? Yeah, that seemed pretty fast. That seemed that seemed fast enough. Okay. <clears throat> so now for the next part, now that we got this pretty much done, right? Let's go ahead and now take this and figure out what we need to do with it, right? We need to take this and it needs to be cut with a knife. We need a deployer. Deployer needs a knife. Okay. I don't think we should give it a knife, but we're going to give it a knife. Our guess. Give it a diamond knife. I'm assuming that there is a way to make it unbreakable come soon. Oh god. Dang it. What if our setup becomes sentient? I don't think me giving it a knife would be a good idea. I don't know. I think my... somebody's calling. Give me just a second, chat.
Alrighty. I am sorry about that. Alright, I'm back. Life goes on. But I forgot what I was doing. Tarn watering trader. It's weird I don't see the trader very often. <laughs> Since I, I have been a long time watcher of yours on YouTube, finally made it to one of your streams. Well, welcome. Sorry, I was ghosting ghosting you guys there. My bad. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Yeah, we were at least you guys were able to watch coggers. Got another globe. We don't need globes. We've got all the loots. Even though. Whoa, withering oak sapling. Maple. Melon seeds. I think we have all that. Alright. Um, so yeah, I don't remember what I came down here for. Uh, I think we were figuring out a knife, right? And I just made it, so we're good there. And this has a lot of durability, I think. So then that's going to make the fiber... And then we need to see to send the fiber into a 4x4 crafter. So this is where we're going to need some brass components, which I should be getting more of. Yeah, we are getting more of them now. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, we also need to make some brass. So much random stuff in our inventory, I know. Oh no. Uh, Rig! Thank you so much for the- or is it W Rig? Thank you so- or, or- I- you can't- I can't make the WR sounds together, I've never- Thank you for the Prime. <laughs> thank you for the Prime, I appreciate that, welcome to the crew. Fresh meat. Fresh meat in here. Hey. Quit hurting me. Oh yeah, can we use a press uh, instead of a crafter? Probably, actually. That's actually a good idea. We could probably do that. Uh, parchment. Yeah, we could just do that. Easy peasy. I don't think I have another press though, but I can make one. We have basins. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that instead of crafters. We ain't gonna worry about all the brass stuff. Well, I need to make brass. I don't know what I'm doing. We need the brass. That was, like, something that I needed to do. Copper. And coal. Uh, I'll just say, why are you not turning on? Oh. Since when does it do that? I thought a hopper only sent the first item. Why is the hopper round robining? That's weird. Am I weird to think that it's, it's weird that it's round robining right now? Or does it always do that? Am I losing my mind? Do I not know how hoppers work? You think it's because of the basin somehow? Weird. Weird but useful. Yeah, that was that's like oddly useful, but like also really odd at the same time. That's already filled. Do 
you think it'll push any items it can? Interesting. Pepper says, Hoppers definitely only insert from the first slot it can, but the basin probably blocks that item. So it tries to insert from the second. That's interesting. That makes sense. It does make sense. Now that I think about that, that's right, because it holds 16, I think, items inside the basin. And so, yeah, one would one would not be there, then the next one would be there, and then so on and so forth. That makes sense. I think I'm just overthinking things. It's typical chosen, typical of me. Okay, let's shorten this up a little bit because we don't need this to be long or anything like that. It just needs to go in, do the item thing. We need the basin. By the way, welcome in, Pepper. As in, welcome to the chat. You may have been lurking, I don't know. I mean, I like it. I, I think it looks better when this is like one further out. So weird. Sometimes this lets me pull belts. Sometimes it doesn't. What is up with this? This because belts is probably my inventory, wouldn't it? Okay. Yeah, I think it looks better when there's a little bit more room given to create. Okay, that's going to go in there, and then that's going to get pressed. It's going to get pretty pressing here. Actually, we can use a chain drive. All my skin didn't show. Ah. I don't know why. I don't know if it, there's like a problem right now with some people's skins. Some people say they don't, they're not showing and some do. I'm lurking a bit while playing Vault Hunters. Oh, nice. I think I'm a little bit burnt out right now on Vault Hunters. I'm taking a break from it since I played it all last year. But P3PP3RF1Y. Join the hype train chugga oh, chugga. Uh oh, we My lose. Skins probably and burned 1,000 bits to keep it going. I just like some don't for some reason. I don't know what the reason is. Some Some's not working. Oh no. Oh no. Much. My skin's work out. Yeah, your skin works. It's Marty. It's evil Marty, actually. Or is this, is that the Morty? Is that like fake evil Morty? Is that like the evil Morty where evil Morty made Morty look like evil Morty? And now we don't know which one's evil Morty? What if evil Morty is infiltrated? Evaporate. The regular Morty 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 and 500 bits exploded from it. It's evil Meow. Morty. Oh Meow. God. Meow. It's so laggy. Bada. Bada boom. Oh no. I must activate the axe. The axe of doom. Thank you. Evaporate <laughs> for 500 more bits. More of those chaos bits. And a hype train. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. It's just evil Morty. I do love chaos. Oh god, all the Mortys. I love me some Rick and Morty. I do. 
Kind of sad, though. This season felt really weird compared to other seasons. Like, I felt like the Tech middle... Josh, oh, dabbed causing 500. Tech with the 500 chosen hands. Thank you so much. I felt like the, uh, the... There was a... a there was a... The one where Rick fights his, like, alter self or whatever. I felt like that should have been the starter episode of the whole season. That would have made all the other episodes, like, a lot more... Made, make a lot more sense. It was weird that that one was, like, right in the middle. It almost feels like that one was supposed to be the first. Or maybe the last. That would have been a great season finale. It's so weird that it was in that Joining order the it was dog in. Pile. Joining the dog pile. Literally a dog pile now that Tech has joined in. Oh, God. Thank you, by the way. Goodness. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this, like, cr the create shenanigans. I don't know. It's been a little bit different than playing Vault Hunters and stuff like that that we've done over the last year. i say it's a little bit more like how the vanilla used to be when we would stream vanilla hardcore. It has that vanilla hardcore feeling, I think. Have you seen the new create add-on, Destroy? Is that the one where... Is, is it called Destroy, the one where, like... You can have like uh, interactable machines and crafting and stuff like that on your train. And then the trains can derail fully. I am. I like the process. Unfocused. Started up the helicopter oh, no. at, 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 unfocused at, 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 to give chosen 500 bitties. Yeah, unfocused. It was always in here with the salt, man. Always in here with the salt. God. These wounds are extra salty. Extra salty. I'm gonna go have to see a doctor after all of this salt intake. What does salt do to you when you um when you overdose on salt? I'm sure it's not good. It's I'm sure it's got it's definitely not good. Right? God, I'm trying to get a drink. <laughs> like blog stuff in your body makes your brain swell oh that's right because salt displaces water doesn't it in your body it pulls water from your cells yeah that sounds awful that sounds so bad tech josh turned on the sprinkler this dude making it rain 25,000 bits coming back rip. around test 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 six hundred K badge that's one way to kill me also one way to kill our frame rate uh, uh, I forgot to take the thing out of my bag and all I have is projectile thing delay launch this is the one that hurts me I think amplify firework no this is the this is the audition one I'm thinking, how do I get back up there besides just building? I guess we just build up there. That never goes good. That never goes well. Holy smokes. Also, that jumped us up to a level 9 hype train. Yeah, Pepper's right. Jeez, dude. Nope, 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 nope. Not what I was trying to do. Not what I was trying to do. Well, yeah, I'm I'm wrecked. First time seeing level nine. Oh my God. Somebody got level 55 on Twitch the other day. The pirate software channel. Oh my God. And it may, it may be higher at this one. I don't know. It, it, 
But he's like such a uh wait, wh where'd my stuff go? It's over there. Oh my god. I can't use these very many of these. My man is too low. Oh thank goodness. Just gotta get to my body. Level 55? Was that the highest a hype train could go? Is level 55? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, wait, you can hold shift on these. How I made that jump, I have no idea. Oh, they can still hit me. They can still hit me. They can still hit me. Oh no! What? No way. Why is this so hard? Why? It stopped at level 55, then goes by percentage. Oh my god. You guys think this is chaos? Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Dude, tech, that's so much. Anonymous, just gave out one subs. APG underscore the underscore wolf. Started up the helicopter at 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 to give chosen 500 biddies. Timing! Anonymous, what are you doing? And then APG wolf with a 500 bids. Oh, jeez. That was some timing right there. Oh no 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 oh, no no no. Okay, I'm making it. 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 <gasps> Got it. Good thing they can't climb, right? Holy! Wait 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 wait. P three P P three R F one Y dabbed, causing five hundred bits to fall oh, into no. chosen's hands. Just trying to help. Thank you, Pepper with the five hundred bits. We're just trying to help. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm. Um, Adosh, is that right? Thank you for the prime fresh meat. Thank you for the prime Aruno. Appreciate that. Nothing like, nothing like some, some prime chaos going on. Well, that didn't help me none, does it? Get off there. Can I make it? Oh, I don't have enough. Can I jump into this? Oh, oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Can't reach it. All right, I think this is a Ripperuno. Just the items I need it. I must hurry. You can't get a hype emoji if you gift anonymously. It'll you learned another thing. Oh, oh God. I mean, it makes sense. It does make sense. The weirdest scaffolding. Get out of here. Get out of here. Monsters. Aha! Take that! We're catching back. We're getting ourselves back. Ah, 
Cheese. This is where we needed like epic music. Oh no! <laughs> Clan Lex! Clan Lynx! Thank you, by the way, for the prime for three months. Welcome back. Oh, we've got a we've got a journey ahead of us. Oh no. Oh no. There's text everywhere. Why are you guys all on the belts? No. Oh, our other book is down there somewhere. Our good firework spell. I have no food either. This is hard. Demonic. Demonic. I said that right. Are we gonna? We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to do it, chat. We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to do it. Ducky, you're gonna have to move. Here we go. Let the annihilation train begin. Come on, join the annihilation train. Who knew this train would come in handy? Who knew? Choo choo through the annihilation train. All right, let's get them. They'll end up following me. And then we just go backwards. Boom. That works so well. I don't know why. It is good though. Love it. You should give, we have a heal. There is a heal channel point. Nobody wants to heal me though. Everyone wants to kill me. I was like, heals are no fun. I do need a, like, heal saturation, like a saturation fill command. That would be handy, wouldn't it? God, trains are so cool. Dude, again, I just want to say thanks, Tech. I, cheese, man. 250 dollars worth of bits is a lot of freaking bits. It's like try to wrap my head around everything. We need a tech. I need to grab one of these techs for the uh, train conductor. Can you make an armor stand a train conductor? wonder we've got to grab one of the techs even though we probably have there's probably tons of them around <laughs> we'll put them in the hole but my god was that did that spawn in like 200 that That had to have been a lot. Two hundred and fifty techs. I was like, this is lagging quite a bit. I got I gotta see that tech. I gotta see that that badge. It is what it is, isn't it? Exactly what you called it. This is exactly what it looks like. God. Yep. 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 
let's see if it shows yep yep that's, yep that's a that's something <laughs> pepper add me to the hole too add you to the hole all right i'll get you to the hole everybody just wants to wants to be in the hole i understand relatable it's the hot tub right here look at that everyone's chilling in the hot tub the conductor hot tub that's funny you take that badge looks that badge looks good on you that was a good that was a good looking badge Aaron Chad. that was a very very good looking badge it almost it's almost too good kind of making me jealous I don't have a badge like that. Where do I get a badge like that? I want a badge. Yeesh. Good looking badge. What's the dog doing? The dog's spinning. This is our lag detection doggo. Notice how there's a little bit of lag going on. Yeah, that's our TPS checker. Right there. EPS checker. Goodness. What? Yep. It straight up checks our TPS. Believe it or not. Now we got to clear off all our belts. No, the suffering. The suffering is real. Filtered belts are the worst. Okay, I think we're clear. We're clear. Did the hype train end? I didn't even hear it end. I was so focused on trying to clear everybody out. A foolish man ignores the actors of what? Foolish man. A wise man. Yeah. The dog doing. The dog doing. It's not what the dog doing. It's how the dog doing. Get that right, Tech. And Pepper over there. Pepper always looking so sophisticated. Oh, finally, good food. Actually good and decent food, even though we could automate eating. We haven't yet. Okay. What was I even doing, chat? I did not see the pet. Did it even spawn in? It does spawn in. It may have been a bee. It could be a million different things. Sometimes the pets just want to just up and run away. Just how the pets are sometimes. Unfortunately. I know what you were doing. You were working on a create contraption, right? Um, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Something, something like that. I think we were doing this part, right? Where we compress the spell parchment and then we take the impure source that we are going to get and then we need to take this and we need to then pre we need to mix the parchment with it but not heated something like that i think right chat yeah this comes out goes into this with a mixer. Like that. I think. Oh, 
something like this. Yeah, that feels that feels right. Something like that. <clears throat> and then and then maybe a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Right, chat? We do a little bit of this. Something like that. I think. Yeah, that'll work. Looks like you can skip the parchment, but I don't want to skip the parchment because look at this. Look, if you look at the parchment, like even if we were to use fuel, it makes no sense to do that because we'll get substantially more out of this. If we heat this, it takes 24 millibuckets and converts it into only six millibuckets. That is a tremendous loss. Right? So... I don't want to do that. Like it's we're losing 40%. No, that's a lot. Isn't that 40%? Yeah. No, we're 70, 75. Sixty. 35% loss? Yeah, we have one third. We're getting one third or one fourth of the uh, total. Yep, 75% loss. Yeah, that's awful. Look at me trying to math on stream. Still, uh, and it's a one to one here and no heating required. So we're getting like, we're getting rewarded for literally setting up a couple extra machines. And honestly, having the fiber is probably a good idea. I almost wonder if we should move this back a little bit more. Um, what are those? What else is the fiber? Hmm. How often are we going to use this? Um. We should probably item buffer somewhere, though. Link parchments used for warp scrolls. Yep, we actually need to change this up. <clears throat> Just in case the fibers aren't one-to-one -one and we build up on fibers, we need to make sure we can send the fiber somewhere. So instead of this and the pipes that we have going, this will just go to a barrel. nice though I still saying this right here is nice I think you just let the belt run under the barrel yeah the whole yeah we can just eventually run a whole belt under here yeah that's probably what we need to do it'll make it a lot cleaner looking I do like like separating this because it helps me understand the spacing that everything's going through But yes, we will run this on as one belt line. Okay, so that... Now, this pump is probably not going to be enough. I don't know if it's going to be enough to carry this all the way. Um,
that's a long ways for it to go and i i don't remember if it's like 16 blocks per pump or something like that and i think it all depends on how fast you're spinning the pump all of that matters um if anything we can just put a tank maybe that's gonna fill up with the fibers no wait 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 this makes the fibers oh god we got this all backwards don't we uh, this needs to go with the fibers to go there. Oh, but we're going to be. Let's do this instead. No, that's probably not a good idea. How many fibers do we need? We can't make unlimited warps. Ah, oh, it's not even worth making these. Because then we could probably only do portals. Do they have the... Um... Well, we could do overworld portals. <clears throat> I think we would just gather them as needed, right? Yeah, let's just set it back the way we had it. We don't need to buffer this. We might need to buffer this. Just in case. We'll set it up here just in case. Oh, God. Let's not go the right way. We'll set it up here to buffer the fibers. Um, and then the fibers will go into this basin. Will be pressed for the craft. Okay. And then hopefully this will work. Something like that. All right. Let's do this. Actually, that's done. And then we almost have this whole automation done to make source gems. That's kind of crazy. I am kind of stoked. What, Jerry? You're trying to scare me or something? Evaporate says, I'm going to head out. Feel better. Have a good rest of the stream. Thank you, Evaporate. I appreciate you hanging out in here. Hope it wasn't too boring. Doing all this great stuff. You're not already gone. Okay. We can't have eggs going in here. All right. We can't. We can't do this. You can't do this to me right now. Get off here. Don't even. Stay off of it. It's going to make me cover all the belts, isn't it? We should combine gearbox with mixer. I hate it to use with other machines. Yeah. All right, so that sends the parchment in with there, and then bam, the next thing we know, we have 
everything we need. Bob's your uncle. Just bowls in the return path? We already got it. No, that's done. Bowls come out here, they return back, and we've got a looped operation. That's it. Look at that pretty thing. Copper looks so cool. And then just to feed it on a belt line? into like a barrel. Yeah, and then we'll just, uh, we'll grab those off of there, off of this belt line. I'll sh we'll do that here in a second. Um, so that's gonna send to the barrel. Um, and then this needs to go into a ass. And easy peasy. Right? Um, so to get the items, we'll just run a belt from here to here. here and then we'll shorten up this belt than that um and then we just need a brass and then just do round robin with the brass Um, funnel. Then we should be good. Faucet. Um, lever. I think we're, we got one more step. I think this is the last step and then we get to see if it breaks. Did our brain work? And is this going to function when we toss the bulls in? Another question, do I need more than one bull? No. We'll put, we'll do one bull. We're gonna see if this is going to go far enough. 
Okay. I went in. Okay, there's our first one. And we gotta we gotta change our belt. That's basically it. Okay. Let's change our belt. Let's sleep. Chat, here we go, baby. Here we go. And then we could we put more bowls in to make it go better. I think we're doing this. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. No. Are we going to have to set the recipe? Oh, this doesn't need to be here. No, nope, we don't have to set the recipe. It'll work as soon as it gets its next one. Are we going to need a buffer between this? And are we going to have to avoid source for this to work? No, no, it should work, right? Whenever we get one, it's going to use 500 source. It's got three. 15 pipes before and after the pump is max length. Oh, so this is even em this is empty. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this isn't pumping either, right? Because we don't have it set up. Oh, okay. We'll have to put a pump in here. That's actually pretty easy though, right? This is perfect though. Outside of that, like this is great. And then we've got to get our filter. I don't know where I put my filters, but we'll grab a bucket. We'll just filter directly. Impure source. Impure source. We're just going to let this go around. Okay. So at, at this point, I think just like what? Adding more bowls is a good idea. Yeah, just adding more bowls. Fill the belt with bowls. We need this process running fast. Okay. We have a full bucket. Source bucket. Now it goes on there and then um the thing we need, right, is two, well, we can't do two cogs there. Um we just need to simply pump that out. We can just extend this with chain drives. And 
then a gear box. And now this should send our tablet here. Why is it not? Oh, this belt's not on. Duh. I gotta be careful what we're hooking into. chosen all right um i think this will work chat our source gems and so it begins so it begins we are so close to getting integrated oh so close now I think we can toss these. Um, let's see. Source crystals. These can't be washed or anything, right? So yes, we can just toss them into our crushing system. How much does it cost to make a single source gem? Only 200. We now have a source. So much work for a source gem. It's worth it though, because source gems kind of unlock a lot. This kind of unlocks a lot. The one thing it unlocks for us is storage, Jet. It unlocks storage, and I wanna I wanna tear up because the storage, it unlocks freaking storage. God. It's working though. It's kind of, it's just so satisfying. Is it not stuck? I don't think so. I think it'll work just fine. I mean, eventually, I think the buffer will fill up if we don't have a constant supply of runes going to it. But if it if it does buffer, then it'll just void these off. Back here. Which are pretty much infinite from this farm. 
You waited for that moment. Now you're off the bed. Well, I'm about to set up the storage. I'm going to work on that. I don't know how many source gems we're going to need for it, but that's what I'm about to get. All right, I'm going to run over. Let's drop the, everything off. That's sick. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Do we have to have a bucket of these? Oh, God. To complete the quest, we have to gather a bucket of them? Good night. Have a good one. to run back to our other farm, grab a bunch of iron, get that all converted up. Oh, these technically didn't need filters, did they? We'll save those filters for later. I grab a bucket out of this horse juice I needed the smoothie um oh this is actual fluid oh Okay, there's that. Oh, does it not like complete as we get to the pos position? kind of frustrating I don't like when quests don't like auto recognize you've had the item at some point mm. it can cause a lot of pain and suffering like this don't be frustrated remember oh, okay okay yeah, thank you Glad you reminded me of that. Like, how am I going to catch this in time? Can't. But really, the only way to speed this up is to speed this up somehow by maybe piping into more spouts like along this belt line <clears throat> I think our it's it's definitely this it's also taking a hit right I mean it's going qu pretty quick all things considered
Look how Bloodborne Gaming just raided you with three raiders. Bloodborne Gaming, welcome in. Yugi Bloodborne Gaming, good to see you. Thank you for the raid, appreciate that. What were you guys up to playing? The Creeper Army has come to blow things up. Please don't. Please don't blow things up. Please don't do that. Please. Please, for the love of God. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Why are there monsters everywhere? What's going on? What? One of us. <laughs> okay. Things are looking mighty fine. There's our bucket. There we go. Our room production may be slow. We're getting there. This process is still working, right? Oh, no, you fiend. You little fiend, you. Oh, I hate the pets so much. Stopped our rune production. All it takes is one chicken. I gotta keep an eye on these chicken pets. They spit out eggs. Not good. Alright, at this point, let's see. What are we at on this? Did we complete it? Impure source bucket. Hmm... That's checked. We need an impure source bucket, though. How do we even go about gathering that? It's out of here, right? Like, as it's mixing, we need to grab it or something? Yeah, screw the guy. That's set up pet. Oh, God. This isn't going to work. How did I have a bucket of it? We'll just get it that way. Roll a Mage Bloom Source Smoothie Bowl over a drain. Oh wait, this, having this on there won't get us the impure. How are we supposed to get an impure? Yo! Hey! I'm not a year yet. Miss a Q Dex! I'm not a, <laughs> ah, not a year yet. Almost though, it's very close. I think with 11 months. I think you'll be able to bucket it out. I have no idea. I'm just going to toss it down here when it's a full bucket worth. I think that'll work, right? It doesn't have to be on a belt or a depot. Or does it? why quests can be so wonky. Alright, did I have the... 
other source bucket. Um, that's the impure. Source berry. Source. I really hope that's not impure. It just tried to pull out. Okay, good. And then this is this is mage bloom. This is impure. This is mage. Okay, I don't need that. That's trash. Uh, impure can go in here. Maybe not. Okay. All right, we'll just live with uh, live with our life decisions there, and there we go. Little Miss Misses, welcome, welcome in. Ah, oh, this is it's chaos. Oh, good, good. They're building up here, though. That's good. That's good to see. Good to see that. Already a hundred and one. Let's take sixty-four of these. <laughs> there we go. We completed it. Oh. On to craziness. Chapter two complete. Oh. Oh, good. Good to see. Herbalist. Herbalist heritage. This is another chapter. Okay, at least it leads you down the line that you need to go. Time in the bottle. We can already make time in the bottle, though. So this should be able to crush everything. And then it feed through here without getting washed. Thankfully, the wash is good. How's it going, Cody? It's going good. Going good. We just got source, which means inventory. Now, while this is processing, let's actually deposit all of our stuff here. Almost everything. I didn't get it all. Let's head down here. Just right click the drain with the bucket. Off some more stuff. By the way, we got coggers back. Which is pretty nice. This is a legendary bag. I wish it told us what was in them. Hi everyone, just want to start playing Minecraft. Last time already, but should you start right away with mods or play normally? I recommend playing normally, but you can still play normally in a mod pack. So things may be kind of confusing, though, if you've never played vanilla Minecraft and just jump into modded. A lot, like I always say, a lot of modded stuff relies on you having some sort of fundamental understanding of the base game. And that's with any mod. That's with anything. That is that way. I know. Back. Go grab a bunch of iron because we are about to make some pretty large storages. I can't believe we're getting to this point. This is amazing. Oh yeah, FTB Academy is a good place to learn modded if you're just getting started. That is true. But it's not going to teach you vanilla Minecraft. That'd be kind of an interesting thing. Have like a mod pack that teaches you the basics of vanilla Minecraft. Like a tutorial from a vanilla or regular Minecraft. But I mean, it's kind of defeating the purpose of the, the main audience. To be fair. It broke because it was full, didn't it? That's one thing I was worried about. Oh, okay. Was will it break when it's full? I don't have the tools to fix this. Do I? I think I might, actually. I 
I don't. Dang it. Now we got to come back and fix our cobble gin. Well, um, while we're doing that, we can grab, can grab some iron. Well, let me check something real quick. So what, what happened is it filled up. It filled up and it threw the threshold switch. <clears throat> but because of where it threw the threshold switch, because of our speed and timing, the gantry shifted where it shouldn't have. So could I fix this by reversing the gantry back manually? And then while doing that, placing... Okay, this is redstone. Reverse. That will reverse the signal. If I break that cobble, does that fix it? Too fast, isn't it? Okay, it just breaks everything. Such a pain. We should almost, we should probably just like have a chest set up to just void the cobblestone and just make sure it always runs. That's probably a better idea. Using the threshold sh switch to toggle on and off our other machine. I mean, it's not that big a deal, right? Um. Uh, um, what do we need? All aboard! I'm on my way, don't go yet. Let me get over here. All aboard! Maybe it'll show up next to the epic save you did the other day. Oh no. I hate that our dog's standing. He needs to sit. We need to right click him and make sure he sits. My grave's all the way up here, but my body... Oh no. Did I get anything I needed? No, I gotta go get more stuff. Okay. Hmm. We've got to fix our cobblestone gin and then we can work on everything else. There's been a lot of stuff today. What a long day. I'm ready for tomorrow for the weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm probably going to want to play this more. But I probably shouldn't. Um, oh, we're out of brass funnels.
Gotta love the lag at the base. Um, I always heard of people putting higher than two gigs. Am I wrong? You, if, uh, Mr. q -Tech, if you're managing your RAM, you do it inside the Curse Forge launcher. Curse Forge launcher, go to the settings, and then under your Minecraft settings, and then you adjust your RAM there. Um, for modded Minecraft, it's usually recommended that you have 16 gigs of RAM total on your machine. Um, and then allocate eight of that to modded Minecraft. And then you should be able to play most mod packs out there. Um, modern Minecraft is a very, very hungry, RAM hungry application. some lava and then we should be good redstone torch maybe happening to me right now. He did not like me doing that. You tend to just allocate 8 gigs, yeah. 8 gigs is good for just about any mod pack. <clears throat> just about. So once you go over the 400 mods and plus, it can become quite interesting. Even then, it's still not horrible. Let's go ahead and, oh. My backpack back in here. It's nice to have an item that lets us break blocks with our fist. Like we have a pickaxe. Okay, so instead of it doing this and churning the clutch here, instead what we'll do is we'll have this constantly going uh, once we get this fixed. Um, and we'll have this just emit a redstone signal. Um, by default, when it is lower than the threshold, we will want to have this. right under and then um, we want it to send a signal constantly so we'll invert and then we'll have it send this 
Um, so that will drop the items down into the pit of lava. Oh, so that's how you t transport lava. Yeah, as of right now, this this has like 192 buckets of lava in it. <laughs> um, now to move this, such a pain. Um, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Can we? We might be able to. We need to shut off the top. Well, it's fixed at this point, so that's not a problem. Every time, I swear. That should have our problem solved and our cobble still generating infinitely. It's like one micro problem at another after another that we're solving over time. But now this should no longer shut off, but yet shut this off. shoot above the lava to protect it. I don't have one on me. Okay. I think these will catch up eventually. Yeah, this is already catching up. Once that catches up, then this will catch up and then this will start going again. Because then we're going to run out of redstone like as soon as that breaks. What is going on here? gotta be kidding me no the joys man it's like i'm a literal babysitter that's what it feels like Now I've got to watch this because there's going to be polished andesite stuck in there. The water messed it up. Yeah, it had to have. Did it, it broke a rail, didn't it? It broke a torch. Crap. God, goofy. Gotta check this because there's probably another andesite in there or something. Yeah, there's the planks. What's next? The sky stone. Okay, we're good. You know, oh well. I hate that water breaks redstone. I understand that it does, but. Ah, it's frustrating. 
Oh, 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 let me catch you right. Let me catch you right. Come back. Please get back. Oh, that was so good. That was good. Hey, our doggo setting down now. Oh, no, he's standing up. Never mind. He's much cooler when he's setting down. I still don't know how this moves our player so fast and so smooth. Okay. Uh, so we have our iron. I need a hopper. Couple of hoppers, we should be good. Oh, that's pulling iron out. Uh, doesn't work that way. Interesting. I thought it did. That was wrong. We just need a pressing station, which we don't have set up yet, but we can set one up over here. Like right here, a pressing station. I'm not going to do it right now, but we could. Are we caught up on something? No. Okay, we're still good. Look at that filling up, though. That's so good to see. So long as this is still functioning, which it is. There goes the rune. Okay. You don't mind having to watch ads, but Twitch is insane since it's six to nine ads in a row. I will say that that is probably partially my fault. Because of some of its suggestions. The six, I guess is maybe be four over six. That's if you're able to hear me right now. Usually don't get more than two to three ads in a row. Yeah, it all depends. It all depends. Where my rolls go? Location probably doesn't matter, yeah. I, I, I have no idea what I do with my food. We have 29 crystals. To crush it up some more. Getting hard to watch Twitch. I'm sorry about that. What are those ads you speak of? Yeah. We got a prime then. You can use your Prime on whatever channel you watch the most, which will prevent ads, which is nice. Prime used to just block all ads altogether because they found out that was not a viable model. Jenny! How's it going? We, we're about to get storage. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Twitch Turbo? Yeah, if you watch a lot of Twitch, Twitch Turbo would be really good. I have no idea where I put my food. That's 
that's where it it auto sorted to it oh tempted to get turbo turbo i believe turbo is also really nice in the fact that um it does like anytime there are ads i believe that a turbo viewer does also support in that way without seeing the ads something like that if you watch a lot of twitch turbo would be nice but also just using a sub on whatever channel you really enjoy is a great way to just like directly support the creator the streamer Also, Ginny, welcome in. We're getting there. I'm gonna need way more. More barrels, please. just got annihilated the tech that i left lingering here just got wrecked oh no that's three stacks of barrels now i get to start designing the sort of placement of my item vaults that we're going to use. Um, I think I have enough casings to make our floors out of casings here. Or at least start a design with the casings. casings Yeah, there'll be another bottom floor of, of casings down there. We need more casings. Perfect. Okay, so this is the main hall. Now, do I want this in the floor? Possibly. And then have it in one central area. It's going to cost a bit more if we do it that way. We can always start with one until we have more resources. Jopperbund just gave out five subs. Jopperbund! Or as it calls it, Jopperbund. Yo, how's it going? Thank you for the five gift subs, my dude. Hey there. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Doing good? That's good to hear. We, uh, we got source gems automated. About to get dinner going. Oh, that sounds good. I think my wife should be like just now getting home. It's weird. 
she has to like ride the school bus at the end of the day the t the teachers have to like the the paras have to ride the school bus at the end of the day with the kindergartners there's like six of them that have to go out and so it takes her like 45 minutes but she gets paid overtime every day for that we're just sitting on a school bus but you can't beat that <clears throat> yeah it's for safety 100 yeah a teacher is in the front of the bus and, a, and in the back of the bus apparently You said there's over 60 teachers, 60 kindergartner teachers at the school she's teaching at. Okay. So if we're in the middle. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's just kindergarten. <clears throat> it's a lot of kids there. Yeah. And that's one of three. I think we have three kindergarten centers. For some reason, it treats your name as lowercase case when you pop in. The case shouldn't matter. I don't think for your Minecraft name. Be an issue on my end. All right. One second, chat. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, Chad. All right, we're going to get this done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm trying to count these out. 
My wife was telling me what's going on with her day. What I was thinking of was of doing was having the terminal at the top here, and we could connect to all of these item vaults uh, by doing this. Um, I could have this completely flush with the floor, but I decided uh, probably not. I think it would look a little bit better to have it up like this. But we are going to have, if we do this, we'll have to have one, two, three, four, five, which means we'll need an extra of the machine things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go out seven on these item vaults. For now, though, we can just start with one. But ultimately, I want to want more. So at least getting our inventory set up first would be great. Uh, and then we'll probably use the storage all the way till end game for the most part. Yeah. Um, so says, enjoy watching. Thank you. Oh no, whenever you see this, I'm ghosting you. Just me ghosting, it's all this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could move these back one where they're not even touching each other. And it's one, two, three, right here. They don't allow you to, to break these like this with your wrench if it's got items in it, right? Or do they? It's great. They do? Oh no. That sounds like a server fun. All the items fall to the ground. Okay. Um, so while we're doing all this, we do have other things that have been working, so that's good. You can really see the TPS struggles here with Cogger. Like... You can see when he stutters, the stutter that goes on.
All right. We'll expand that out later. More. Now I'm going to have to figure out how much are we going to need to craft these items that we're about to make. Okay, we just need to make a, a quick assembly line real quick for these. We need eight of them. 32. 32 of each of these things. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll set up a quick process for those. this song singing about? Wait, there's a chance that they're not the same distance from each other? Wait, what? They're the same. What do you mean there's a dis... What do you mean? Am I planning to build a steam engine? Uh, down the road. <clears throat> right now it's not necessary. We're only using a teensy little fraction of our total. Yeah, right now we're using like less than half of our total stress that these water wheels are generating. Just notice we have a train decapitator right here. Those will these will change though. We won't be down here forever. This is gonna be exclusive to the trains. I'm, I'm earlier says okay Okay, we'll get that running. This is where we're going to have our first initial hookup into the item vault. Now I've just got to make the system, right? That does this. So it's two deployers, right? Two deployers. We got to make some deployers. Okay. I can't wait to get all of my inventory moved over, chat. You have no idea how 
much I want to do this right now. I am just like on the verge of just like bliss. It's like right when you're like right there. It was like pure happiness. And I'm just, I feel like I'm right at the edge of that. Like I'm, I'm just tipping over right now. About to get there. And then my brain is like so conf confuggled, man. So much going on. I'm forgetting right now what I was doing. Okay, brass sheets, andesite, hands. Where are they at? What are they called? We, we need the boinkers. Where are the boinkers? Does Extendo Grip use them? The frick's a boinker. It does use it. Brass hand. Jeez. Is it so hard? Okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. As we're going to need one, two. I'll just go ahead and make them. All the boinkers now. Um, and then we need iron blocks. Okay. And then that, that should be everything. They'll just tap into our network and we'll call it good. Ow. Sorry, coggers. My bad. My bad, brother. Put you back on there. Get to spinning. <clears throat> Why do you have so many wrenches? Because you get wrenches in loot chests. And so we looted a ton of stuff. It's just all built up on us. why this will be really nice once we actually get like things going okay so assembly line we can do that like right here I guess that takes precisions I did this backwards, didn't I? I think that's it. Look at us. That's awful. But this is to temporarily get these items. I know later on we're going to be able to make more of them in a more effective manner. Okay. 
<clears throat> so what else are we missing? So we just need to give this like a stack of these. And then we need to give um, first a stack of source and then fragments. Almost have a full stack of fragments. Is this, this is a 40% chance. But at least three would get us one. There's a stack. Well, the tech is just in there. All right, so to make these, that is a source gem and then a fragment. Source gem, fragment. Today I learned you can't store source from ours in my ME network. Is there anything I... Is there anything you can't store? Oh, today you learned that you can store source from ours in the network, yeah. It starts, chat. It starts. All of this to get a screen? To make some cables? Oh. While that's producing, let's make some actual cables. If the music isn't epic enough. Oh, it's so good right now. So good, chat. Feels good. Oh yeah, well actually I think you can store nuclear waste in, I'm pretty sure you can store nuclear waste in AE. There is an add-on extended AE, I think it is, or whatever it's called. The one that adds the mega cells and there's a cell for nuclear waste. Yeah, waste cells. It has been made. Um, what was I making? Oh yeah, I was gonna grab mineral. Why are my mineral boys not jumpy? Why are they no jump? Did they burn out? They burned out for whatever reason. So we'll grab our mineral. Okay. Um, we need to make item interfaces. Boy, things are looking good right now. God, that took a lot to get through. Goodness.
Almost there. Oh, this is good. What storage am I going into? Integrated dynamics. It's the only option we have. 64. Oh, that's so good. What's an, what's the, what's this give me? I'm scared. Nothing that was that amazing. He gave me cell housings. Are we that close to like being an AE? No way. All right, and now we just need our gold casings. Didn't I put gold over here? You enchant those with fortunes you get a ton more stuff that's what everyone said they said enchant them with fortune and i'm like what like can you put it inside of the enchanting table and it'll like guarantee fortune on them that's a ton more stuff that you need yeah it's like i need like a full mom farm and like it, well i need a villager farm emerald farm to buy fortune books Or just get started. Buy for the extra pipes. We'll see. I mean, honestly, I can't do anything else with these, right? So might as well. Bam. Eight of them bad boys. Boy, I'm looking good. That is literally how my family talks, man. They talk just like that. Are you looking good, boy? So good. Didn't bring your truck with you, did you? I'm gonna have to get me one of those. I'm not even kidding. I grabbed a villager, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to catch some villagers and set up a villager hall or something. Y'all sure got a pretty mouth. Oh, yeah. That's how it goes. That's that's how they, they talk. Some of them. My family that lives further down south. My sister, she lives up north. And it's funny, I've heard her accent change over the years. And her accent is, she now sounds like a Canadian. She sounds like she's from Canada. Also, I hear Jeff Foxworthy. That he's literally making fun of the pe way people talk here in Missouri. I'm not even joking. Between Missouri and Arkansas? Yeah. Oh my god. Some of the people I worked with a long time ago that were from like the boons of Arkansas, the like the boondocks of Arkansas, they got some... So that's some southern draw right there. Not even the good southern draw. I think the good southern draw is when you get further down. I think they call it like the scarlet draw when you're down near Louisiana. That accent I like. I like that one. I know I've got that too far south. And I start hearing that accent. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, let's get these hooked up. All right. So what do we do? We just put this in here. I don't want to mess up. I know one of them's a cable. We got to get the light panel. Right? We get four. That's all we need. 
we, we're going to need more cables. Yep. So here's our storage. Oh, I am happy. I'm a happy boy right now. Very happy. So if you think you're a redneck. I love how it thought redneck was a bad term. I mean, like maybe it is. It can be used bad. Oh, I know. I probably know why. Probably not for the reason one might think. I need one more set. Okay. The auto mod had me sweaty. <laughs> You can't facade these cables, unfortunately, if I remember correctly. Maybe you can? Can you facade logistics cables from integrated? I don't remember being able to do that. Yeah, red. Yeah, red. That can be a derogatory term. Yeah, I think. Is it more? Refer I don't think it's the way you might think, though. All right. Um. So, how are we going to go about getting the items from here and there? begins. This is going to be pain beyond pain. Why did it just do that? The only thing I can think about doing is maybe setting all of these chests up to a contraption and then bringing the contraption up there. But. Hacking tape. Sort of. Is there a packing? There's the packing. Will that work on a normal chest? I thought that only works on sophisticated chests.
bring the interface down. I'm limited though on the cables. Item importer? How expensive are these to make? We can... Maybe try that. What does that say? GUI simulator 9000. This might work. Okay. And then we need some blocks. I think this might be it. Oh, you gotta be shoo. No, there we go. you can use shoots to empty backpacks yeah shoots would work this is a stack at a time though this is insanely fast i don't know how full the how full that's gonna be though you know what i could do this is probably not the brightest idea in the world mm. I'm gonna get up there Oh, it stops whenever you pick up an item or drop an item. It turns off temporarily. Get a, 
built this first. Uh... This is my work. Oh my god. No! Don't you punish me, babe. I know you want to take it out on me, but you don't have to. Subliminer! Jump run, thank you for gifting the subliminer. It was a day, so high. I'm sure we'll be able to talk about it. Up, Joe. Yep, 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 yep. We've made it here. Fab, this has been a chaos filled day. You don't even want to see this mess that I've constructed. It's too much. Too much. Too much. Okay, I need food. Did I put my food in here? I'm just, I'm interested in how this is going to go. We drop these. I am so close to being done today. And being insanely satisfied for the weekend to come with this done. Now I can't go doing the heads. I'm going to leave the head chests in here. I think that'd be a bad idea to put that inside of the system. So I will still use my backpacks for this. That satisfaction of unlocking storage. I know it's so I'm I'm so giddy because of it. I'm like I'm so happy that we have the storage. <sighs> no, don't no, no, suffer only works on my wife. Alright, here's this. Nothing. That's totally OSHA approved. Dude, the magnet's doing the work. The magnet is so good. Oh, I'm so glad we found that magnet. There's been a lot of things in this. I'm like, I don't know how I would do this without it. Magnet being one. There's also um, the book, the spell book that launches me in the air. Don't know how I'd go without that. Be glad that's not a Vault Hunter's Magnet because of the durability. 
honestly, they 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 ratify like the whole like durability system has been completely changed since it was at the start. Sorry, coggers. I gotta break these chests. Oh, it has a limit. Oh! It has a limit, chat. I gotta hurry. Well, we have five minutes, right? Before items despawn. Magnet must have some sort of item limit. All needs to be recharged. Do I not have my running shoes on? Why do I not auto walk up these blocks? Weird. So, so far without having our thing expanded, we have how much storage? One, three, eight. Two, four, zero times four. We can hold 8.8 .8 million items, technically. I mean, we're limited by this is how many stacks, but that's how many slots technically per item. That's 8 million items. So convenient. Uh, I can smell fresh air for some reason. I don't know. Did my wife walk in? Oh, good. The F5 view must be hilarious little items. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, well, they're just piled down below me. It's gonna be a lot of items. At least it handled those. Hey, hey, I complimented you. I do what I get here. Yep, that's exactly what happens. We're almost done. We're now eight hours and 17 minutes in. <clears throat> God, it feels good.
Coffee Hacker! Thank you for the Prime four months! Appreciate that. Hi! Hope you're doing alright. Oh my god. I can't handle this. I can't even handle it right now. You're ruining Coffee Hacker's moment right now. Being super pushy. <laughs> oh God. We'll get there eventually. We'll get all these items moved, I promise. One of these days. search fast enough. Oh, oh, they got stuck. There we go. There's actually something I want to see. Oh God, I hit the wrong block. There's kind of something I want to see happen. <laughs> That's a fun spell. It's so good. Oh, it already almost kind of happened. Like, I want to see what happens, like, when... Let me get these put on here. God. Oh, is this thing full? Hey. want to see happen is I want to see these item vaults right here um I want to see one get yeeted in the air and what happens if they do first of all can one even be done that way Okay, it can't. It is an immovable object. Okay, good. The stuff the saying was happy wife, happy life. He just wants ultimate destruction. We're just missing this, right? Which is a bunch of tools. A lot of MBT related items.
All right. Kind of happy, honestly. This is nice. This is nice. I just wonder when that feeling is going to wear off. That would be awful. Could you imagine it spawned a creeper? Oh, that is one complaint that I do have about this storage is whenever you right click, it just highlights. It doesn't clear. We also need grid size to be changed. Uh, grid. Uh, medium is fine. That's too much. That's. Auto refill crafting grid. Disabled um, network, network and player, just network. I don't know if network and player causes the craft. No, we should be good. Looks like we get, looks like everything's good. Uh, item amount. They have the crafters disabled, don't they? Yeah, no. Crafting interface is available. So that means we have auto crafting now. Technically and request auto crafting. Like this is nine auto crafting patterns. Oh. Huh. Um. Okay, I I mean, honestly, we've got it done. Like, uh, there's no way to facade these, right? I don't remember. This is not a... Is there a facade block? It's this right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need this to search sync. Yeah. That's weird. Like jelly. Oh no! Ivy Kirkland! Thank you for the Prime! Welcome in, thank you! Boop. Boop. We got some fresh meat in the house, apparently. Thank you for that. What do we do up here? What do we put on the top? Hmm. I think you combine with a block.
And then we need glowstone. No, that's a different thought. Glowstone. Glowstone, glowstone, glowstone. Look at us! I mean, this is probably not a good idea what I just did, but still. It looks weird. Um, I might lower this back into the ground. Take up the whole block, doesn't it? Um, can we make the wrench? do the facade like a stump. Maybe? <laughs> they name it God. And they removed the um, the wireless access to this, didn't they? And connect to other monodirectional connectors over a distance in a straight line. Like that would allow us to like have a access port on all the sides, I guess. have to like make some more framed blocks then add the glowstone Okay. Looking pretty good. Gonna make building so much better. That's it. That's going to be it. What a day. What a day. What a day. And this should still be running. 129. I think what we're going to work on next, now that we have like source gems, right? This opens up like all of ours, right? I have a brain stop. How do you automate the energizing orb from power again? 
I think today's video on YouTube, I just showed how to do it. Uh, so that works. Um, but you use, it just depends on what mod. RS, there is a blocking. Yeah, RS has a, it's got a red icon on it. I can't remember the card. What's the card's called? Regulator. Um, Grills. Let's say, hey, hey man, love your videos. Very informative. Keep informative. Keep up the, keep up the work. Much love. Thank you so much. Sorry, I butchered that. My brain is just somewhere after eight hours of streaming today. Wait, you got storage? Yes. And we didn't just get storage. We have storage. And we can now make more integrated dynamic stuff. We have source gems automated. We had source gems automated. Apparently it does flub up and stop, apparently. That I I was worried about if that was going to happen. Do we does that mean we have to void? I still don't know what that means. Thank you, by the way. Um, Zochi Bun. Thank you for the tier one. Appreciate that. I I guess this would mean we would need to. Redstone signal detector card from laser IO. Yeah, I like to use laser IO with a detector. That's one good way to do it. Modular routers is also great and easy and fast. Yeah, because we run out of fibers, three. Love how we run into more problems. And I just want to fix it. Like, I want to fix it, but... The only way right now that I know to fix it is with a buffer tank. Spot to that. Well, thank you. Thank you for that tier one sub. Got some more fresh meat. And thank you for the kind words earlier. I do appreciate them. Are there any fun music blocks things that you can do with create? There are. The train whistles um, allow you to make whistles like in the the taller they are, the lower they are, so on and so forth. Um, the it changes the pitch. That is what's really cool. What is this doing? Is this splitting? It is splitting. Can the valve be turned on and off with redstone? That'd be interesting to know.
it doesn't matter because this will overflow and it's already overflowing. So there we go. We're voiding the fluid. That works, right? The sponge is actually a Tesseract. The sponge just sends this to a, a another dimension. We just haven't gone to that dimension yet. And whenever we go there, it'll just be slowly filling with all of the fluids that we'll be voiding. This is interesting because we need more sponges. And honestly, getting sponges is kind of a pain. We could we could do it with ours, no problem, but once we get into ours, doing it the legit way, but there is a fissure and I don't know if thermal if they have it gated. Okay, so we can actually make the aquatic entangler and then how about um chow? Um, yeah, we would just need some chow and we would actually be able to fish up sponges. Yeah, I think this is necessary because we need to be able to void off excess. Otherwise, this process will stop. And if this process stops, then we're, we're done. All right, I think that solved that problem. Or you can buy them for 16 silver. Oh, that's pretty cheap. All right. I mean, I don't know if other processes here have stopped working in some form or another. Like, whatever reason. Magnet's not good, by the way, all the time. But, like... I think this is shooting iron. No, redstone. I bet something's broke with our redstone again, isn't it? One last trip over to redstone and then we can head back. And then I've got to find somebody to raid today. Nine hour stream. I am dog tired, chat. But I like I had a lot of fun doing this. And it would be really hard for me to stream for like eight to nine hours if I wasn't really enjoying myself. So I guess that goes to show something. Nope, redstone's working. Train must not be. No, train would, if train wasn't, this would not be doing this. No idea. Train must have been tunneling. Wait, redstone's right here. Wait, we got redstone built up in the chute. Uh-oh. Now there's a bigger problem at hand. Redstone's funneling through here. Nine redstone. Redstone. 
redstone. Iron? Something's up with our iron. An egg. Oh my god. Oh, and we have a problem with this too. It stopped. Oh, we, yeah, we must have had a redstone thing happen. I don't know what the deal is with it. What is the... What's the meaning of this? All right, maybe having the, the pet spawn is not the good, best idea in the world. That has had our stuff shut off for God knows how long. Oh, that's not good. Is a summon pet a real pet you keep? In the game, yeah. Uh, that reminds me, I need to turn off chickens because that's gonna be the worst. Kill the chicken. I don't know where the chicken's even at. That's the problem. Where's the chicken? There's a chicken right here. Oh, it's this one. Yes, I think uh, at this point we can now make all of this stuff, including Drigmies. <clears throat> How does it work with actual source generation and source usage? Is that available? Like, can the source that we produce be sent into the jars? I really want to experiment with that, but I have no idea. what I want to know. How does that work? Oh, wait, we have enough spell parchments now. Okay, so this was not a solution, I don't think. I think it was, I think it's sending to this right away. We'd have to set up like another pipe. Well, you're still live for how much longer? Not, not much longer. We're going to have to come up with a better solution, I think, for how we get this out. Is it Starbuncle Mania? Oh. What I was thinking is maybe this. Wait, 
do links just generate source? What am I doing? Links just generate source. I'm a dork. Ignore me, chat. This has me all confused. What I wonder though is if like I could put maybe this on the other side. Right? Put this on the other side. And then maybe have a tank here. No, it still splits. Hmm. Maybe it was a fluke that it filled up? You think that maybe it was a fluke that it filled up? Or are the ratios just not correct? Well, the liquid source link can convert liquid source. I don't know. This will have to be something we really monitor. Yeah, this is going to be something we heavily monitor because I, I don't know why it was all janked like that. Because it, it looked like we ran out of parchments. So then it filled up. Because we ran out of parchments, this stopped because we no longer... We no longer... The ratio is off because the leaves are 38% drop. You're like at the bare minimum, we need like three. I just wonder, I'm, I don't know how the valves work. Uh, I can ponder them. But if we can use like a stockpile switch to see the value. Yeah, so we could, in theory, use um, redstone to control whether it's open or closed with a clutch. And yeah, then we could just drain it out if the container fills up. So we would buffer this first, right? So we would send this into a buffer tank.
and then we could drain out of the buffer tank if this was messed up. Okay. I like the idea, though, of having a bigger buffer tank here. That also might solve the problem. Well, it ain't going to solve the problem, will it? Wait, will that not pull? Wait, will this not pull from the... This is broken. Might just be broken. There it goes. Didn't like it doesn't like when it updates in front of it, I guess. Anyways, alright. <clears throat> Not a full bucket. Uh, I don't think it needs a full bucket. I don't know. Either way, we got source gems rolling in. That looks good. That means we have other things. We have tons of runes. So, um, all in all, everything's looking pretty darn good. I'm happy with this and I'm ready for the weekend. Are you guys ready for the weekend? I want to say thanks, by the way, this series has been insane here on Twitch and it's all thanks to you guys. Um, the support on this has been just nuts. And I think you guys a lot. I thank you guys. Definitely uh, keeping me um, interested in learning new things. Gotta catch you using inventory. Yes. Yep. Yep, Craig. We got it. We got it set up. Look at this bad boy. Look at this beauty. Absolute beauty. I still gotta figure out the grid size. I don't like where it was at. That's that's good. I like this one. More like refined storage. I don't like when this is the very bottom when I can't see my hot bar. But yeah, I think what we can do now that we have this is like really focus on magic stuff. Still missing a line of anisites on vaults. Yeah. That's not a huge deal right now. I'll do more decorating here soon. Oh, this feels good. I'm also going to try and remember to remove Oculus next time I play. See if maybe that'll help too. And so we'll see how that goes. I think removing Oculus would be a good idea. With shaders though. This is nuts when this happens. Oh, you better, better have my want some company at some point. Oh my god. They, I mean, it's not... It, so, here's the thing. It actually runs smooth, but when I'm streaming, it does not. Yeah, it's only when I'm streaming. Better now. But yep, everything's good. Maybe the integration mod? No, no, it's, it's lag before. No, no, we are just under 30 FPS. It's not the integration mod. It's just all the crate components. Is this the final boss that, uh... This has got to be the final boss. This is the reason... This is why, um... Generic B was like, wait till you get to chapter 4. And it's because by the time you get to chapter 4... You're no longer fighting the create contraptions you have to build. You're fighting the lack. Probably just the pipeline of the rendering. Yeah. The roses don't help.
I think it's doing good now, though. Still doing good on parchments. Oh, thank God. And the cool part is, is we can just make more of these integrational parts. So, also, we found out that we can probably make waystones soon. Right? Because we can craft these with some of the things we have. Right? So, that's something we'll do next stream. We'll get that all set up, because I can't keep going. We're at nine hours today. Cheese chat. All right, um, we gotta find somebody to raid. I hope you guys had a good stream, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna raid. Who are we gonna raid today? Oh, do do. Do 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 do. <laughs> Captain Sparkles. I read Captain Sparkles. He's playing Among Us. You guys are looking for some Among Us. We'll hit him up. He may, I don't know, I don't know if he's playing Minecraft today, but he's playing definitely Among Us today. Is that a picture of him as an Among Us character? Jesus Christ. Good luck with Captain Sparkles. Hopefully you guys had a great day. They're also playing, uh, playing Create, um, Arcane Engineering. Um, him, Zine, and Pete. So, be sure to check out the VODs. He's got some VODs on that. All kinds of fun stuff. So, thank you guys. I will see you, of course in the next stream, which will be back on Monday. So be prepared for that. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.